What's good, what's good, what's good? Here we are, another episode on Compuros Compas Podcast, su compa Carlos Rodriguez. Y su compa Alvaro. Viejones, hoy tenemos un muy buen episodio, como siempre. Yes, este, ahorita lo presentamos a mi compa que está aquí a mi lado izquierdo, que ya están viéndolo a la gente que está en YouTube. Pero primero que nada ya se saben las reglas, tenemos que darles el shout out a los compas. Y también quiero darles las felicidades a mi compa José y Javier López y a mi compa Oscar López de Cervecería Casa Humilde. Congrats, guys. I am very, very proud of you guys. De una vez, yo voy a anunciar aquí. They haven't even announced it, but um, yes. they have recently just uh, signed on to uh, their own brewery, their own building for their own brewery. Hell right yeah. now, they're at the district brewery yard where they share the space with other breweries. Pero Caso Vila Cervecería Brewery will be coming very soon. I'm not going to disclose the location porque ahí si no quiero cagar, and I'll let them do that. But I did go check this out uh, yesterday. They did like a little soft family and friends thing. And uh, congratulations to them, man. Para la gente del quemado Durango. Son del uh, pelado. Son del pelado quemado, güey. Very, very, um, very happy for them, bro. They deserve everything that, they, that they're uh, accomplishing. Okay. Y todo lo que viene. Mi copa José Javier López, los apreciamos un chingo aquí en Aguacate, bro. Siempre nos han apoyado desde el primer día. Desde el Guacpad, desde con puros compas. Los videos que han salido eh, de AMG HQ. Casa Milde Fest. Casa Milde Fest. The Arce Proesa videos that we just dropped. They're always behind everything that there is. The Nueva Lección Proesa. We appreciate everything, bro. Uh, love being partners with you guys. Y este, en, enhorabuena para ellos, bro. Congrats on oh, that. Yeah. And uh, more details coming soon because we're already... Uh, uh, ya me dijeron que hay que ir a planear Casa Milde Fest 2024. It'll be out there in that area. Again, they'll announce it. But congrats to the whole team. Al compa oh, Chuy, yeah. everybody that's at the Casa Humilde team. Al compa Chichis, a.k.a. Boobies. Salud para él. Así es de que muchas felicidades para esos compas que andan con todo, bro. Hell yeah. So feliz para ellos, Casa Humilde. Saludcita a la buena, viejones. Go fucking buy some Casa Humilde. Man, go at least. Look go at my... Find it. We got some right here, G. We got that media naranja. And I think that's that Frida oh, on that. Chingamos una. Um, también saludo para mi compa de Cielo Gutierrez, State Farm Agent G. Este, salud para él. Go get the trifecta. Is in full effect. House insurance, life insurance, car insurance. Una hora gratis de los toxis. Sheesh. State Farm, mi compa Jesiel Gutiérrez. El mero mero de Alemania, hijo de la chingada. Yeah, wow. Para mi compa Georgie, para mi compa Fry de Aguacate, Chicago. Oh, I'm wearing one underneath. Um, yeah. Salud para ellos, viejones que andan en Madrid con las playeras. So, uh, put in your order, get your custom shirts, your band, your business. Landscapers, roofing, it don't matter. We got everything. But we'll, we'll print one shirt, we'll print 2,000 shirts. Let us know. Aguacate Chicago, mande un mensaje. Salud para ellos. Para mi copa Julio G, que acaba de salir de aquí, Narc Cartoons. Oh, viejones, que anda con todo. Ahora que vino Canelos. Ah, no, Canelos, no, perdón. Alegres. Alegres del Barranco. Está con madre las playeras de Canelos. The Pepe Canelo is a hit right now. If you haven't checked it out, narcartoons.com. Go check out my compa Julio G from Los Toxis. He's got that brand on full blast. I see Roberto oh, yeah. Tapia wearing his shit. Oh, yeah, I see Larry. Pave from Alegres, Larry Hernandez. Everyone's wearing that shit. Si eres chaca, you need to go to narcartoons.com, bro. Oh, yeah. But I mean, compa Fry, the guy designs for, I mean, he already is taking about 90 to 95% of the pictures of all the bands here in Chicago. If you haven't yet, or if you're new, because God damn it, there's a shit ton of new bands. Bijones. Fry the guy yes. designs. He got you on the he logo. He got you. Picture. He, all that. Picture, logo, fucking reels. Like, let us know. The, the, the poster the guy. for the release party of the, the band. Todo the way. Released. It don't matter, G. It he got matter. you. We were talking about this last time, bro. Like, that guy has done wonders for us. Right? Like, that guy would draw, like, a huge fucking <laughs> we're banger really on We're fatter. It. Yeah. To tell you the truth. <laughs> he fucking, he'll make you look great. <laughs> So shout out to my boy Friday Guy Designs, que también hoy se quedó tarde aquí para echarnos la mano. Muchas gracias para él. ¿Me falta uno o no? Yes. Hijo de la chica, yes. para el mero mero. El mero pinche mero. Rasco oh, Village, Mufflers for Less, my boy Jose Cermeño, a.k.a. the Mexican Jay-Z. Vayan a que les chequen el pinche muffle. Ese, el muffle specialist, compa. <laughs> yes. El muffle specialist. Back Pero, in the day, it was Mills for Less. 
That shit's gone. Mof- Ahora el puro pinche mofle. But you can still get a milf. It's in the summer. In the summer. Ahorita es Mufflers for Less, Damon and Roscoe, Roscoe Village. Tell us that you heard us here, and he'll probably give you a shirt. You heard it here first. Ooh. He's giving away shirts. Yes. Uh, so caigan allí para Muffin for Less, and my compa, for, oh. the Mexican Jay-Z, Jose Cermeño, que también anda apoderado del norte, el hijo de la chingada. Oh. Ahora sí empezamos, compadre. Ahora sí. Ya se me fue el, el, el aire, la chingada. Wow, la chingada. This, this is going to be a good one, compa. I already know. Um, we, you said the other day, actually, on the pod, that you, know, you thought he had been here, but he didn't. We, we recorded an episode with this guy. Old Man Syndrome. As part, as part of the Banda Real, which was an episode that uh, got lo- lost, lost, in, files. lost in translation, yeah, lost verga. files. Um, <laughs> y en ese pinche pod, we had a good time. Fucking Our guest here was going ham, so I, I had told compa, <coughs> I need him back alone, porque I know this fucker got some good stories. He's, he's been in the music biz, what, 20 years now? Something like that. Ahorita que nos aclare el compa. A bunch of major bands, a bunch of local he, bands. He's done here. the local. He's done the tour life. He's done a TV show. Yes. He's done it all. He's a fucking basketball coach now. Yes. I mean, dude, what the fuck? Yes. Una bienvenida para mi compa Pedro Celis, compadre. Oh, oh, thank you, man. Yeah. Thank, you, thank, yeah. you, thank you for having me, bro. Such a pleasure to be here with you guys, man. I'm stoked, you know. I'm like, you know, starstruck almost, you know. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> You know, we no, are, sweet, sweet. We dude. are as well. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I used to see you at, on Mundos, man. I know, back in the reality show, man. I should, that, those were some good times, man. Some yes, good sir. times, you know, sweet times, you know. He, we got to do a little bit of everything ahí este, back in the day. Y, y, pero pues aquí andamos, you know, doing it, doing it este, a little bit more of a normal status, pero este, still kind of trying to kick ass, you know. How many years strong now, Pete? In, in, the, the, music? in the music, yeah. 20. A dub. Oh, this it is year, a fuck, yeah. Damn. It's a dub. It's crazy, you know. I've I, I've been through so many stages. Hell you yeah. have, right? Yeah, man. The the Duranguense stage, you know, when all the little bands are popping out left and right. When all of us were musicians. Is that when you first started then, like in the Duranguense era? Yeah, back yeah. in the Duranguense era, back in two thousand four. What were you like, eighteen years old? No, at the time I was uh, 16, 16, 16. 16 years old, yeah. I'm kind of thinking porque todavía nunca se me olvida de those. It's one of those things that you kind of never forget, right? Like certain conversations and shit. And I remember when, when I first met like Fofo and, and the Real guys, you had just gotten out. And they were like, oh, yeah, bro, my cousin, he goes, uh, did you go to UIC? Yeah, I did. Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. He's like, my cousin UIC, bro. He's like a biology major or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, damn, this smart motherfucker. He's like, yeah, that was our sax player. And that's how I first heard about you, eh? through 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 your cousins, pues. Yeah, no, pues, back in the day, pues, este, before I even got started into music, pues, um, you know, I was pretty good in school, you know? I, yeah. I had good grades y todo, and um, I think I had a brighter future, pero, pues, I, I wanted to be a musician, y, <laughs> valió. <laughs> And then you're a fellow uh, Little Villager, aren't you? Of course, bro. Born and raised, man. Proudly, proudly from Little Village. You know, este, I literally just lived in like uh, three blocks, you know, basically my whole um, my whole young life. Uh, I remember um, when I was born, well, I think it was A verse 28th. Okay. And then um, when I was like five, we were probably at, at Carlov in 28th. Carlov, okay. Yeah, and then... When I was like six, we were at the following block, Kamensky. So I like grew up in three blocks, no matter all my life, till I was yeah, 18. Yeah, yeah. So I was 18, that's where um, I moved out to Cicero. And I've been living in Cicero ever, ever since. Sheesh. Yes. Uh, 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 c- uh, pinche, what, what, what are the Cicero people call the um, c- Cicerians? No, I don't know. <laughs> the Cicero hoes. The Cicero right, hoes. That's, <laughs> that's what I was going No, but those say. are the chicks, though. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah, man, there's something about, like, Little Village, way. Right? Like, uh, justo ayer, some dude, some dude uh, had asked me, like, oh, you know, where's your parents from, Mexico? And I'm like, oh, you know, Michoacan, Jalisco. He's like, uh, you rep that shit? I'm like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I kind of like repping more, like, I'm from Little Village. Like, that's always been something for me that that is proudly said and shit, right? Like, and a lot of the Little Villagers are the same way, right? Like, they, you know, you just said, like, oh, very proud of being... Coming out of Little Village, man. It's come on. It builds a lot of character. That's for fucking sure. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. I mean, we definitely go through it all right there growing up in Little Village, you know. Pero yo creo que what makes it real nice over there, you know, que está la raza, you know. 
Sea lo que sea, you still get a piece of, of where our roots come from, Mexico. Right. So I think um, um, Little Village is very rooted, you know, with um, pues, with our costumbres, you know, anything Mexican, you know, de ahí empezaron este grandes negocios, you know, all throughout that, that some of them still stand and shit. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it just represents, to me, it represents the struggle, you know, it represents este, you know, people getting here from Mexico not knowing what the fuck, but hey, ganging up, you know, or, you know, no pun intended, you know, getting together, <laughs> <laughs> getting together, you know, in the neighborhood from there, you know, just, you know, trying to get ahead, trying to get ahead, you know? Yeah. And, and that, that's what, uh, to me, Little Village represents, you know, as the, basically, um, you know, what, what we've been doing, you know, here in the city, you know, for already, what, more than 60 years, you know? Yeah, it for sure. It's like raza, fucking like know? a hustling, hustling as a tribe and shit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, anyway. And then, so you started with music in the Duranguense, just picked up the sax like in high school then, or what? Where did you go to high school, G? I went to high school at... um. In Bronzeville, that's um, a military academy. Oh shit! Yeah, um, and from there, bro, from there, that's where I picked up music in high school. Yeah, but it was crazy. I picked it up in a in a crazy ass environment. It was a marching band. Yeah, yeah, and uh, the saxophone was super taken. So everybody wanted to play sax. So that's like very popular instrument, you know. Fuck yeah! I got stuck with the tuba, man. Wow. Yeah, at first I used to play the tuba. The actual tuba, like the, the hand tuba. one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know the one that go the you the sousaphone yeah, and shit. You hang on you as the sousaphone. Yeah, and the one that the other one you you would play like up, up front upright tuba. I guess mm -hmm. they call up, it upright yeah. tuba. Upright tuba. I was about to say up front. The fuck. Yeah, y <laughs> eso es lo que empezaste. Yeah, bro. That's what I started doing. So we would do competitions, you know. And I was there for like about um for like about two years, freshman, sophomore. Um, so like in junior year, man, I was on the I really you know as the you know, get on it, man. And I really started learning. I remember a friend came through to the crib and he brought a saxophone and he's like, hey, I brought you a sax. You want to try it out? And I'm like, hell yeah. And man, I swear to God, it was like love at first sight. You know, it's like when you kiss a girl, you know, for the first time you fall in love. Yeah. That was me and the sax. Yeah. Mm, holy crap. Yeah, what the hell? yeah, it was like, it was like an instant click. Yeah, you know? Pito, oh, hey, que pasó esto? <laughs> <laughs> Set myself up for that one, right? Ah, <laughs> God. That's <laughs> ah, all good. Nigga. And then you, what? You grabbed the sax like your junior year, technically? Yeah, bro. Or? 16 years old. You know, I was in junior year in high school. Y como que I already had a notion of, of the, you know, music, you know? Not a big ass notion, but man, I was sure hungry, bro. And I wanted to learn. Yeah. You know, so it's the, during that time, it's the, it, it, uh, me and, a, and some, like, uh, childhood friends got together. Y estaba un señor de la, del grupo La Inicial de Durango. And he mm. was teaching us. And he was teaching us right there how to play. Right so there I, in, the, in, the, in the hood? Right there in the neighborhood? Uh, no, what? in Merrill's Park. Okay. Yeah. So iba, no sé. So iba con nosotros a Merrill's Park with another group of kids over there. And, uh, you know, supuestamente we had a little group going on. Okay. Oh, and yeah, este, yeah. este señor, pues ahí este, nos enseñaba por nota and all that stuff. And uh, supuestamente he was going to show me how to put the keyboard. But then I came to him. I'm like, yeah, look, I, I can play the sax a little. You know, I'm like, mm -hmm. but I didn't know how to really play like a CBN, right? I was just playing nothing but, you know, gibberish yeah. Yeah. at first. He you know, like, pero este, yeah, right. Así like, like, no, así no. <laughs> pero no, este ya, este, como que era, pues ahí él, él me alentó. He told me, you know what? All right, este, these are the notes for this uh, scale and shit. And from there, like, I was just so hungry that from there I went, man. But it was crazy because uh, Fofo, my cousin Fofo and Juelito, were yeah. barely learning how to play right around the same time, dude. We were coming out the shell right around the same fucking time. Damn, you know. And he encaminados por mi tía Adolfo and shit. So he saw this little project. I was going to say that. Like, they had yeah. heard that in, in the music. Did you have a music background? Nah, man. I, I, well, my dad, he wasn't a musician, pero este, family members, musicians. Do you know, este, okay. I'm related to, you know, Don Armando Terrazas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Cousin, you know, pues, mis, las primas, Marisol, Vicky. Yeah. Okay. You know, so, I mean, we definitely, man, that, that, that music bloodline goes deep. And then it's crazy because... I, we just uh, discovered my mom's side of the family. She didn't know her dad. So it's the, through um, Ancestry.com. Ancestry oh, shit. You did that, yeah. huh? My sister was able to locate uh, the, uh, that other part of the family, dude. Nice. So, no, the, those other guys musicians are super too. talented. Damn. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Talented musicians, man. I'm talking about, I think one of the guys, este, one of my mom's uh, 
Half Brothers played with um, Pegaso, dude. Sheesh. Or uh, este, el Pega Pega de Pollo Esteban, one of them. Yeah, yeah. But dude, yeah, crazy on the keyboards. Crazy. Yeah, wild. That so, so yeah, no, it's the we, we, DNA, bro. Yeah, we have music. Right Hell now. yeah, it's, it's in there. Yeah, it's in there deeply. Yeah, bro. So from there, este, mi tío Adolfo, you know, este, he saw the chance ahí que we were learning. So, también este, <clears throat> Alfito, Joelito came in, <clears throat> and uh, he would be. I remember, he, like the first gigs that we would have, bro. He would be the singer, bro. It was crazy, you know, because we, we, mi tío Adolfo, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, iba, iba. Um, Animar y también iba a cantar, cause este we we really didn't have a singer, or or you know if we did, pues you know, t- pues you know le, le faltaba ayuda, you know, so, right, right, right. él iba ahí a, a también a como que a ayudarnos, you know, so, yeah, well, so for sure that would kind of talk yeah. and everything, so right? for sure mi tío Adolfo definitely gave us the, mm, mm, the yeah las primeras palmadas, you know, in the touch, you know. Like the get out there, guys, get out there, definitely. Yeah. And probably the for a lot of people, I mean, the band that he was in, Pensamiento Negro, I mean, that was one of the first. Oh like, yeah, dude, like, no, like big time back in the day. I yeah, mean, it was they, nice. They they've done a lot of. They've been around forever, or they were around forever, or whatever. You, no, no, um, most definitely, bro. No, that that group este definitely tenía su trayectoria. Yeah. It did a couple cool things, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Miguel Alfonso knew what what the deal was with with this business you know yeah Uh, yeah but 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 came from another generation you know the 90s you know those those musicians are crazy area bro wow (laughs) (laughs) you know the wild musicians bro yeah yeah. the casino tropical musicians the mario a lot of those like when we talk to bebes like they were like a lot of like cantineros like you know cantina musicians like there wasn't as many clubs like like now no no. a lot of it like hey we're going to cantina they're gonna fight us if we don't play this fucking song you know yeah, most definitely not. They they lived through some raw shit, man. But you know, Mitya Alfo having that um experience, bro, of going through it already, este, it just made us more more este comfortable for us, you know. Este neta que it really did, you know. We were we were comfortable, este. So like este perdimos ahí el miedo con él, bro. You know, este I remember you know our first gigs at uh El Sinaloense, you know, there's actually a live Shit. recording I meet oh, really? singing. It's crazy, yeah. Damn. Uh, wild, you know, but those beautiful memories, bro, you know. And what was that band? What was that band? It was, we had a lot of names. Did we change names like five times? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pero este, este. What was the main name? It was uh, Mostrenco, bro. Baptized, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Baptized yeah. by Mitya Adolfo, yeah. Mi t- oh, Se van a llamar yeah. Mostrenco. Because <laughs> I guess that was one of his. They're like, ¿qué? <laughs> yeah, because I guess that was his, um, one of his first groups. That he was in cool. back oh. in Mexico, you know. Damn. Yeah, bro. Put so it's the up. and it was crazy <laughs> because whatever. From there, we um, ended up meeting este another well-known musician, bro. Este um, Ricky. Este Ricky Rincón. Él is es el, él es el sobrino de este el paisa. Este de, he used to be a promoter back in the day. Ricky, Ricky, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But Ricky, is he the same? Who does he? Does he still play? Yeah, he still plays. He's playing right now with Chema y Subanda La Granera. Chema guy, right? Yeah, he was from Manda Terna. We just brought him up the other day with Robbie. Yeah, that's yeah. I Because he did Rob Escuela's very first live recording. Oh no shit, that's yeah. crazy. So we met Ricky when we were little kids, bro, sixteen years old. Damn. So when we met, we met Ricky, bro. Met Ricky is like. All right, we're gonna be this band now, bro. We changed our name again to like Parranderos or some bullshit, bro. You know, yeah. it was crazy, but whatever. We we started, you know, rolling around with Ricky, bro. You know, and like, I remember like three weeks in, you know, practicing at his crib and stuff like that. It's the man. I was like, man, fuck this. We gotta go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, since back then, fucking yeah. Fall, I was gonna say, <laughs> what? Well, nah, Has everything nah. changed with Paul? <laughs> Still nah, same este, guy. You, know, you were playing sex. Does entonces just ask for sex, pues? Sex. Yeah, bro. You know, este, I, I think you know, he probably felt like, hey, we, we kind of like needed to make a change. You know, it was just, you know, it was like, come on, man, because how did we all of a sudden become Ricky's band? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how did we go from Mostrenco to fucking Ricky's fucking yeah, No, no, shit. shout to out to Ricky, my guy Ricky, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostrenco. I love, bro. You know? It was still part of the process, way, right? Oh yeah, most oh, definitely, yeah. man. So, bro, around that time, <laughs> Junior, Andres Gutierrez, and Jesiel were leaving Banda Correcaminos. Yes, yes, yes. Around that time. And we find out. 
Around the time you guys are leaving Ricky. No, around the time that we were like, uh, I, I wasn't I wasn't trying to leave nothing. I was like, bro, I'm barely starting. I'm trying to learn, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. Pero este, you know, whatever. Este, pasó esa, you know, esa inconformidad or whatever. Y este, we heard that the Banda Real guy, oh no, the uh, Junior and Jaciel, you know, were, were out there, you know, free agents. Free agency yeah. at its fucking free beginnings. That's when it started, right? That's when it started, That's dude. So we got together with a man, practiced together. And I think they were still finishing up their, their last gigs with Corre Camino. So. Pero ya se conocían ustedes, güey. No, I didn't know them. Junior, I mean, sorry, Fofo and Junior knew each other. Okay. Yeah. Somehow, you know, through through common friends and stuff like that. Entonces, este, that's how we got together, bro. And that's how we met Jesiel. Jesiel brings in Rafa. Because they were... Um, Najera. Yeah, and Rafa Najera. Because they were classmates. We're about to have him on, too. Yeah. Soon. Sweet, yeah. Yeah. Because he brings in Rafa, so he's there already, you know, when we get to practice. So, haz de cuenta que Fo, Joelito, and me get there. Y hasta ahí Junior, Jesiel, y Rafa. Damn. So, at first, we didn't have a singer, man. And we just got together, all just three of us. All right, we're going to jam. Man, we jam, dude. I, I think we were just, like, so hungry for it, bro. And and just, you know, having musicians like Jesiel and Junior at the time, that these motherfuckers were already, like... Beast, dude. These guys were already... They corre caminos yeah, vet, vets they and shit, had right? swag, dude. Yeah. And I was a fan of them, bro. I was a straight-up fanboy of them, bro. You know, Bad. so when we, when we got together, bro, like, that that just hunger, bro, just like, mm, man up. Man, I think from the first from the first practice, we loved each other, bro. Mm. We loved just that energy that we brought, that music that was coming out, bro. Like, just so raw, bro. So, um... Like, so energetic, bro. We just wanted to be heard, bro. At, at You know, at that time, we were all so raw, bro. Este, nos faltaba todavía pulirnos. También, our skills, you know? We were still barely learning, man. Yeah. Pero that, that just hunger, man, just got us good so quick, man. Quick. Yeah. That's, really fast. That's like that era, bro, in, in musician life when you fucking up, obsessed with music. Right? Seriously. Seriously, bro. Every day, every fucking hour where you're just... Right, but we'll practice today, practice today, practice like, yep. a darle. We wouldn't care, we play for free, man. We wanted to oh, play. Of course, yeah. We want to play. I remember, I was just like, man, let's just play. Let's just, I remember, bro, crashing, not crashing parties literally, man, but, you know, like, <laughs> getting in there, you know, to a party and playing a palomazo. Back then, that was very common for groups that yeah. were coming up. Getting there with your sex. I ain't crashing the party, but I got my sex. No, dude. like, <laughs> una fiesta de conocido. Yeah. Somehow you knew them. Y les decías, hey, pues, este, tengo una banda. Can I play a few songs? O te conocías el grupo de ahí. Hey, me deja tocar unas canciones de aquí. I'm barely coming up. That was very common back then, bro. Very yeah, common bro. practice. Antes los grupos, porque las privates, back in the day, te agarraban four or five hours siempre, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Yeah, for sure. So for the sure. group way, the, el, que agar, el que contrataban, if they didn't want to play all the hours, or they, they would they'll get like a young yeah. group and be like, hey, Play este grupo va a abrir para nosotros, kind of, and I'll play the other four. And then the opening groups, you Jeez. go and play for freeway. No, for sure, man. And, and that's how we got kick-started, bro, in this whole thing, bro. Y también our, 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 our hunger, bro, our hunger. So there was already, like, set groups, man. When we were coming in the picture, bro, there was already set groups like your Dorado show. But the Dorado show was barely coming off of Rebuild because the original ones, they, they had gotten out. Some of them went to different groups. Este, pero, este, they were left with the little young bucks, bro. Like Tony, when he was like 15 years old, 14 years old. Tony <clears throat> comes in with, in the picture with Dorado Show, man. This kid beasting right off the bat, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, Daniel Cimental, the, he used to be este with, um, con, um, he had a Norteño group. Este. Uh, La Sensación Norteña. La Sensación Norteña, yeah. Yeah. Este, he was right there, también, coming up in that rebuild with uh, Dorado Show and stuff. You know, just young bucks, también, really, really, really young and really freaking hungry for it, you know? So, yeah. Dorado Show was definitely kicking. There was Relajo. Relajo was definitely a solid Oh, group, shit, man. I forgot about Relajo. Most definitely, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, Ruben. That That's yeah, Ruben's like that, that we were, like, coming up with in the local scene, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. That we were, like, almost right there, you know? Y, y pues, we... we didn't see them much as competition, bro, but but mostly as the um uh we looked up to them, bro. And and we definitely, you know, liked the, the style and we definitely wanted to play just as good as they they did, you know. They did but they were beast, you know, beast musicians, you know. Yeah, apenas uno empezaba. And I think that was that really got us, you know, up on our game, bro. That the, there came a point where where um Banda Real was really kicking, man. Really kicking. In that in that era. 
in that era. I mean, I'm, I'm saying este pues este Who's en, back en then? lo duranguense así de estilo tamborazo, así con yeah. saxofón, bro, yeah. you know, en, en lo que es este the local scene, bro, because I remember back then we would go play at Farragut, bro. In uh -huh. high school dances. I remember we played this there for our Ari the Tepeyac prom. That was nice. wild. That was cool, bro. Man, so we were making so much noise, dude, that we were able to get Danny's attention. Danny was singing for Corre Caminos during that time. Sheesh. Big Torch, yeah. And who, you didn't, Danny still didn't have a fucking singer, though? No, we did, bro. We, but we were kept on changing, bro. Estuvo ahí este Lupillo, bro, that, that, that he was right there singing, bro. Um... Pero, pues, no más estaba él, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Once Danny got, like, uh, interested in the group, and he's, he came to practice, bro, tried his out. Damn. Damn. That, Same thing. Vet. Danny yeah, was that fucking vet. veteran. Yeah, that, he was that missing piece. He tried yeah. you guys out. Like yeah. Said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tried Literally. us out. For, yeah. Yeah. No, for real. Yeah, yeah. He tried us out. Yeah. yeah. And he came in, bro. He was a missing piece, bro. And he liked he liked our 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 raw approach, bro. Our, our energy, you know, that we were all so young, bro. Y, y yeah. like, so, like, hungry for it, bro. And hicimos buena marcuerna, bro. Once we clicked it, man, I think we really stepped it up a notch during that time. Fuck. Shout out to my boy Torch, man. Oh, yeah. No, no, Shout he's been key, man. key to man. so many groups, bro. You know, and with uh, Banda Real, is definitely not the exception, bro. He's definitely the, of course, yeah. the no, one no. that, that uh, was carried <clears throat> the load of... Um, Putting the group up to a nice, decent stature, bro. You know, este, porque before him, bro, la neta, it nos faltaba algo. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Este, and then it really came in y aportó este, esa, um, pues, um, all, all that uh, experience that he had with him, bro. Yep. Came in and, boom, you know? Experience, yeah. confidence, way. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. And style, bro. Definitely. Yeah. Style. He has his own style of singing, bro. Most definitely, bro. You know? Yeah, it's crazy, bro. The full circle, bro. What a beautiful thing, way. Uh, don't want to get too soft in that end, pero. Too al philosophical. Al alguien como tú, way, <laughs> que you, you met Danny when that, and then a full circle when he, towards the end with Brigada, like, hit yeah, towards no, his end cool. of the career. That's nuts, way. Yeah, no, that, that was pretty sweet. Yeah. You know, to, to revisit it back, back as when it happened, bro. But uh, when it started, it was just as special, bro, because um, he was, you know, he was barely turning 30, like in his late 20s. Uh, and we were still teenagers, bro. We were like 18 still. We were like dumb, bro, and young. And we'd do dumb shit and say dumb shit, you know, like. <laughs> We had no filter, bro. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uno cuando crece, bro, you get older, ya no dicen tantas pendejadas, you know? Antes uno decía todo lo que se le cruzaba por la pinche mente. Uh, hey, no. man es verga, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Shit like that, bro, you know? So he was really cool with us, bro. He really matched up that energy, bro. Y este, pues este, nos encontramos muy bien, bro. Y luego se, se te fue, se fue acabando el tiempo contigo con la Real, and that's technically towards... What, like you're 18, 19, or what? Yeah, bro. So, man, with Wanda Real, like I said, man, I, w I would never have another time like Wanda Real because it was definitely it's the, um, passion at its finest, you know, at its mm. in its primal form. How long bro, did it you know? last for you? How long were, was the, how Wanda long Real, were you? Two years. Real? Two years? Yeah, it's about two years. Yeah. So, yeah, about two, three years. So, 2007 comes rolling around, bro. And it's the, we, um, Got a little shot at the at the little big shot, you know, bit, uh, uh, at the big stage. Pues, este, there was um, un promotor that was interested in us. That he had uh, been part of creating Atardecer. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you can say who or no. Este or, was I mean, Javier Salgado. Okay. A promoter was there out from uh, I think at Texas at during this time. You know, okay. es de allá de Santa Maria Lores de Durango. I'm not sure oh, if sure. he's de menos Santa Maria, but he's from over there. Yeah. Entonces, este, um, yo creo que este, he contact, he, well, he did contact us through, este, un announcer que anda también por acá that's been involved in bailes for a very long time, este, Meño Pedrosa. Oh, como yeah. no, saludo yeah. para el señorón. Meño Pedrosa comes up to us, bro, and he's like, hey, este, pues le gustan a este señor y este señor quiere hacer algo chingón, quiere hacer, quiere recrear otra vez este, um, conjunto atardecer, and he thinks he can pull it off, you know, he's like. And we were like, bro, this is our shot. This yeah. is what we've been Hell waiting yeah. for. Like, Hell we're, yeah. And we were pissing on ourselves, bro. We're like, damn. So they're like, okay, all we got to do, all y'all got to do is it, 
Es Coto Santa María del Oro en Play of Baile over there for free. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do. <laughs> for free, we. Yes. Uh, on top of that, you know. We're in. <laughs> <laughs> when where do when? I sign <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah dude <laughs> fuck yeah fuck yeah we were thirsty for we were like when when man bro but you know what man it, it, it sucked because some of our guys este no tenían este papeles at the time ah uh, Danny and Fofo este were um, the ones that couldn't join us bro so ah uh, uh, Banda Real couldn't go in full complete form throttle. Yeah. yeah complete form dude complete form so we we go over there we're, we're heading to santa maria little man bro stoked bro we're like bro we're losing it this is our time of our motherfucking lives bro for fucking real dog this is like ah uh, freedom 18 at years finest. old 18 years old vamos pa pichi terra y sin los oh, papas yeah. a la chingada ah, Dale, ah, verga. Ah, <laughs> mi compadre juelito bro 14 years old bro me lo encargaron a mí hijo de la chingada <laughs> They fucked up. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm like, damn. And, and Buen Santos encomendaron, bro. Ah, well, you see. Bro. So we were out there. Vale todo. No hay pedo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. 14. Legal here. age drinking. No, 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 había pedo. Nada, he no, was, nada. Había pedo. Hey, he was just, he would just tell 21. me. 21. Hey, just don't tell Fofo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, bro. Time. Wild time. Nice times, bro. So llegó el día de tocar allá, bro. Y este, bro, le hicieron buena publicidad al baile, bro. Y, y había gente. Cuando, y, it was a club de leones, over en Santa María del Oro. Y la, y la gente llegó, porque it was a free baile. Oh, so, se, se metió la gente, you know, y también. Y, y empezamos, bro, y, y este, pues mira, I'm going to be honest with you. Although we all wanted to play raw as fuck and the best we could, bro, we, we did just didn't sound bien I mean not bien not que no I mean se escuchó bien pero it just didn't sound till it's full fucking potential like you guys know yeah like we know yeah yeah because again we had our big biggest missing piece missing like pero allá we you there. guys met this Salgado guy and yeah he no, no, seemed you know interested actually, it actually, was actually, legit you know, and everything or what we never saw the, the Salgado character the Salgado character was always like talking through some through some other person you know or, or Menyo you know like talking through Menyo oh know? but you think it's mean him then Yeah, we didn't get to see him oh, up in front. Fuck. No, we didn't get to see him in front. So it's the um, whatever we finished up the um, finished up the the gig and bro and everything, bro. He signed his kid, bro. Pues este, pues I don't think Javier liked it, bro, because este we, 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 yeah we got to the crib, we got to the crib. Ya llegamos para acá para Chicago, bro, and y ya de ahí ya no se escuchó nada más. Ah, sí, bro, just y like, ni cómo ese día, hey, qué pedo, bitch. El señor Javi, qué pedo, nada. O sea, so maybe he just wanted a free gig. I know, right? Or maybe After. he didn't even exist. Maybe, maybe Menyo wanted the free gig. <laughs> maybe Fuck. the guy didn't exist. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, just But. fucking finestas from there and shit. Yeah. No, el caso es que este, it, supuestamente, it just turned out que he, just, he wasn't interested, so he didn't want to do it anymore. And we're like, damn, man, sucks. We were just like, Damn, what do we do now? And you know what was crazy? That during that time, when that happened, bro, that's when I get recruited. So around that time, Hershey's is leaving Alacranes, bro. And I couldn't believe it. Again, talking about free agency, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hershey's is going to make his own group. And we knew it because um, um, pues we knew also Lalo, Lalo Navar. So he was the one that was... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Braceros, right? Yeah. But I said it was TV Nub yeah. with her. She used to make his own group. And then he had peeped me out. And he told me about it. Like, hey, we got this plan, plan going on. Come try out. So, man, I went to try out. Sheesh. And, man, when I met her, she's bro, I was starstruck. I swear to God, when I met this nigga, I thought, I, I, was, thinking, I was thinking of making a, a straight up fucking... Um, um, a star. I'm like, damn, this nigga Hershey's. Hell yeah. <laughs> Back then, yeah. the dude had a hit ass fucking song, bro. <clears throat> One of the biggest hits in all of Duranguense during that time. Por tu amor. Yeah. Por tu yeah. amor. Yeah. Uh -huh. This guy was coming off insane popularity, bro. Uh -huh, yeah. Insane. People love this guy like no other. Seriously. You know, and me being a fan of, you know, the music, the genre, and you see a, a guy where, you know, as iconic as a dude was. You know, I'm like, bruh, that's crazy. I'm going to team up with y'all? What the fuck? You know, it's crazy. And it was crazy, bro, because um, during that time, I got a call by two other groups. 
I also get recruited by Lamento Show. Ricky, Ricky, este Fonseca, Fonseca hits me up. Yeah, yeah, bro. And I really piss on myself because that was like the biggest Lamento Show fan ever. Yeah, bro. To me, bro, that was like the craziest opportunity I could have ever gotten. You know, but but back then, Eliasar was um the in charge. In charge yeah, you know, he was a mofo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was shark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now he's a Christian, so it's forgiven. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck, yeah. Good. <laughs> it's all good, good. way. He's yeah, all yeah, good. good. Whatever then, he did is all good. And at the same time, Moroscopos right after me, too. Shit. Yeah, mi tío, mi tío Armando hit me up and he's like, it's your time, nephew. It's your time to shine. Let's oh, do this. Yeah. yeah. And this is right when they're also taking off, right? Yeah, dude. That's when the time is that when they got the Horoscopos is, gra- you know, winning Grammys, dude. These, they're on the top. So during that time, so suddenly, uh, the, some of the guys and they yeah, make desatados. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah another yeah, group yeah. right there, and they were recruiting guys to it. And you know what's crazy, bro? The man, they actually w- wanted me. I mean, no disrespect, but dude is super talented. A- a- Alonso, a saxophone player over there from um, from Denver, super talented guy. They 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 were gonna get me over him, and and I was like, well, that's crazy, because that dude is wild. He, he did some Manda Coralio shit when Manda Coralio was, was at his Damn finest. Yeah. Dude's crazy talented, man. So what, what was the, uh, how did you fucking decide where to, who to pick with? <laughs> Bro, yeah, I when nice. I decided like this, man, this is what I thought. This was my eeny, mindset. Eeny, like, you know, no, nah, nah, not even that <laughs> eeny, many, mono shit. This is my mindset, man. I, when, when uh, well, to be honest, when Lamento Show offered me what they offered me, I was like, eh, what, for real? Financially, you mean? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm like, I don't know. And then este, Aliados offered me the same. But again, they were just kickstarting. Este, and uh, Orozcopos answered me. Uh, you know, uh, They offered me a real nice amount. A real nice at that time. A real, real nice amount. I'm like, God damn, that's nice. God damn. That's fucking nice, you know? Enticing as fuck. But man, this is what I thought. I mean, no disrespect to horoscopes. They have the thing going on, but the girls are the images. You know, everybody right. just sees the girls. They're not going to see the guys. The musicians yeah. back there. Or the band, yeah. You know, yeah. fuck you are. No one will know who you are. But with another group, I might have that chance. You know? So that's what I thought. Man, with Aliados, if I join Aliados, I might have the chance to actually be a face of this group. Yeah. You know? Uh, so I went with it. I'm like, fuck it. You know? And that had to have been pretty cool because Aliados was obviously this nigga left and boom, he was popular, like you said. So it was, Aliados was an instant. Dude, Aliados was instant fire, my dude. Instant, bah! It was like, bro. And again, carried by Hershey's popularity because dude had insane popularity. Well, their first thing was like a live album, no? Like a little live or some shit. No, we did a full studio album. It was crazy because the live album and the studio album released just around the same time. But first oh, okay. there was a studio album and then the, the, the live album. So they both released it on the same time, man, and they're instant hits, man. Yeah. They're doing it. We're touring. That was the first time that was the first time me touring. First time me going to a lot of places, you know. So for you Mexico. también it was night and day. O sea, tú era de being a local to like boom the next day here. Boom. Yes, yeah. yes. You know what? At first, este we started, you know, getting the band going first, practicing, and maybe like a month later. We started touring. Yeah, we started touring. We had to break the news to the Banda Real guys. Yeah, dude. No, man. I, I broke their hearts, man. That's, that was that was harsh to, to leave my guys back there. You know I mean? Um, it was tough, bro. You know, and, and I felt that as the... Pues, como que esa... Um, uh, pues ese rencor, you know, from the guys. You know, when I would come around at first. You know, oh, that's Mr. Famous. No, he left. He left us to be famous and oh, shit like that. I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it would hurt, bro, because man, to me, I love these guys, bro. To me, yeah. and I will always love these guys. You know, no homo. <laughs> it's no. all right. It's trendy. Yeah, for sure, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's trendy. This guy. It's all right. <laughs> nah, you know, because you know they were my homies, bro. You know, like really brothers, brothers, brothers. You know, so it really did hurt to leave them. Este, you know. With what we thought we were going to head it together with, you know? Fuck. You said that was your first love band. Like, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, your, yeah, your, yeah, your yeah, obsession, yeah, yeah. Basically, right? Basically, the first yep. real band. Yeah. The first real band. Que, I mean, yeah. so a little your song, first love, song. you know? Yeah, yeah wey. And yeah. then you go to Aliados, tour action. And then tour action. Not even Aliados. like local shit. Tour. Oh, tour. Straight up tour. Yeah, yeah. Going all over Mexico. 
the East Coast, the West Coast, down to Texas, everywhere, bro. Mexico it was pretty kick ass during that time, bro. So you got to live that whole experience, you know. Uh, Mexico, bro, it just offers a whole other experience of playing, bro. It's just more fanatism. You know, people are follow you more, bro. They know you more. They'll cantan tus canciones con más ganas, bro. It's just no fans like Mexico, bro. So I saw that for the first time, bro, and I was like, mm, I love this shit. Como que es, están más entregados allá, ¿verdad? Yeah. Al artista. Yeah, bro. Yeah, so I was happy with Aliados, bro. I was like, and también pues in love with it because my first time going out there, you know, enamorado de, del proceso, bro, de, de todo el rollo of just touring, bro, new city every night. You decent know, money, young yeah, ass decent money, dude. Yeah, because we actually started getting paid, you know, a little bit, you know, pero right away, nos empezaron a pagar bien, you know, este... Raises, we really had raises like every other month. Like, oh, now we're going to pay this. Now we're going to pay this. Because the group is going to increase rapidly, bro. Right. No, no, it blew up right away. Yeah, bro. But you know what, bro? Man, that group would have been something, bro. But I don't know. Fucking Hershey's probably was not in his right mind space during that fucking time. Dude was on some shit. I don't know. That's what I was going to ask you. What do you think happened there, bro? <laughs> bro, I can't even tell you, bro. You know what? I can't even tell you. My my wild guess is probably would probably be that he probably se des, se desanimó con el proceso. Something happened where he's like, man, fuck this shit. I'd rather be a star back at Alacranes. Like motherfucker, why are you leaving in the first place? You know, like <laughs> no, but a good thing you left because he gave me the chance, yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. good thing you left her. She's for sure. Uh, how long would you do that? <laughs> way? Huh? How long did you do the uh, aliados thing? We did it two years. Two years. Yeah. Right? So so yeah, este right. empezaron las este las inconformidades. You know, they, they were. Not happy there, bro. Hershey was not happy there. He started having issues with the promoters and shit like that. And um, <clears throat> then around that same time, again, it's the... Recruited. Yeah. No, not recruited oh. yet. Memo y Omar start having trouble. Era la Cranes. Era la Cranes, right? Era la yeah. Y de todos modos, wey, so once you join Aliados, I'm going to go a little bit back. Do you also start seeing a little bit of the drama with the Hershey's Alacranes? Oh, man, yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. Because yeah. I had heard, what well, they talked about it on the Guacamole. Yeah, no, we definitely had crazy beef with Alacranes. Yeah, right? it was yeah, it was SOS, bro. Nah, it was yeah. beat up on site. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro, and it did happen, yeah. Se agarraron a los guamazos, bro. Este, they threw it down. Guamazos. Yeah, bro. Bueno, guamazos, ping, ping, yeah, ping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, some niggas got binked. You know, others got también ahí este... Yeah. Pushed around and shit. It was crazy, bro. And this shit, all, all this shit would happen, bro, like, in front of the cameras, bro. Like, yeah. yeah. In, in pleno pinches star. este uh, conventions that we were having and shit, you know? Sheesh. Yeah, it was wild, bro. We were wild and, you know, pero este, todo pa' nada, pa' que después Hershey's ahí estuviera de manita pinche sudada con esos cabrones. That's why I said, what the fuck? Para que al último se esté haciendo un billetazo ahorita la verga. Hugging each other and shit. No, I mean, that's cool. You know, my respects to them, bro. Yeah, 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 much yeah. love to what they're doing again, bro. Right you know, now, yeah, well they're deserved. On, they're on fire again. Yeah, for sure. But during that fucking time, bro, it was crazy to see Hershey's again, you know, getting it together with these guys. We're like, wait the fuck a minute. What's yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. happening? Like, dude, we didn't just get hit in the eye for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, look, I got a black yeah, eye, motherfucker. I got a glass eye, bro, for life. <laughs> and you just... <laughs> yeah, you guys are I didn't just tear my ACL, nigga. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Have you bastard? Yeah, yeah you no, know, and it's so crazy how it just happened, bro so it was so wild bro Get because so all wild. of a sudden bro we uh were in la and we're in the same hotel as alacranes bro so tell me from one second to the other we're partying with alacranes bro tell me why i'm over here smoking chilling partying with alacranes i'm like bro i can't even believe it we used to be ops really yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. Like from that. one day to another way yeah and and but 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 then it's the you know what then i found out that hershey's knew that they were gonna stay there and hershey's a propósito se quedó ahí también oh, yeah. of course way to start fucking you Blanco know, con maña. Yeah, yeah to start fucking you know building the getting together hanging, and they yeah. were hanging out it was crazy we would see them hanging out too and we're like hmm. the fuck and it, yeah so it was crazy so we were in San Jose, California. Mm. También aliados. Este, y también estaban los alacranes performing that night at El Rodeo. <clears throat> so that night, Hershey's like, let's go to El Rodeo, tells Lalo. Let's go, let's go to the baile. Andale, compadre, no sea culo, decía. <laughs> no sea culo, compadre, because compadre. Y fuimos. And, este, and it was crazy, bro. 
because we were right there hanging out, bro. Y que se suba a cantar Hershey's con los alacranes. That, yeah. like a video that, that broke the shit. fucking yeah. internet, my yep, nigga. Yep, yep, if you yep. see Memo and, Om- and Omar, their fucking faces dropped. Though. So they were not expecting it. That yeah, I've no, seen that video. no, they that weren't. Video. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. they were fucking not expecting it, bro. When Hershey's gets up there, these niggas' faces go like, what the fuck? Straight the fuck up. We saw some crazy shit that night, bro. <laughs> For real, we saw the straight up rupture, bro. Yes, right cuando there. Empieza, cuando esos yeah, and that's postpone. when este, yeah, it just all breaks. Damn. Yeah. So that's when Hershey said it's got and they're like, psych, I'm going to a yeah. <laughs> Which you know, is another back. ends up being another good thing for you because then Yeah, because then you go, obviously you know Pedro Avila behind the singers, <clears throat> he's like, No, nah, fuck that, that's my name. Yeah, All so the, the sides, whole name shit yeah, starts, so the, right? The, so it tells the guy, say, nah, we're alacranes. Oh, yeah. So it starts recruiting people. Yeah. Damn. So and it was crazy because my compadre Joelito gets recruited first. Yeah. You know, he's over here with Banda Real, bro. So yeah. me, me, Banda Real is doing their fucking thing during that time. Yeah. Locally. Yeah. For sure, one of the hottest groups there is right here. What the, the hottest Duranguense group there is. Yeah. Or the hottest, you know, Tamborazo style group. Yeah. You know? And... Doing their fucking thing, y'all are playing at you know the big clubs. Y- y'all started a fucking trend, bro. Y'all y'all straight up started trends with yeah, fucking yeah. with the Vandarian group. It was some good shit. Yeah, dude. So b- they were ha- having so much hype that my compadre had the hype too, and they were like, "Hey, we know a badass saxophone player. He's only 16. <laughs> yeah, you know, high school still, but we want that kid." <laughs> at first, I remember, you know who they tried to uh, recruit before us though, to be H over here, to be H. They try to get yeah. um, Sammy and Mil- Milhouse. Ooh, which was for the Alacranes. For the Alacranes which first. Yeah. But Sammy at the time, I guess he didn't have um, su posa. I don't, even, I don't think if, if he was a resident. I don't know his stature. Or yeah. I'm not sure, but somewhere. Or, or Algo de eso. Algo yeah. de eso se escuchó where <clears throat> something like that happened. He and, travel. And, yeah, he and travel. they couldn't take one. or They didn't want to take just one, so th- they went to the next option. Joelito. Orale. Yeah. So Joelito gets straight up fucking um he gets um scouted after a Vanda Real gig. Oh, Memo was right there peeping out the scene and he's like uh, you know? Vámonos. Yeah. So hit him hit, hit him up, you know, and uh got him got him fucking uh, in the squad. Joelito calls me up and he's like, bro, guess what the fuck happened? I'm like, what? I'm over there in California with Aliados, <clears throat> you know, touring. And he's like, um, Memo called me and he wants me to be saxophone player for Alacranes. I'm like, what? Alacranes? He's like, yes, Alacranes. And I'm like, bro, bro, you got to get me in there too, man. I'm like, come on. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Hook me up. But by this, did you already know Aliados was going to be done? So by this, I was seeing things, bro, that I'm like, wait, so wait a fucking minute. So this is going to, holy shit. So yeah. you knew before. Before, yeah, you're, oh, yeah, yeah, no, because shit's already popping. Yeah. You're and seeing it, it yeah. firsthand. Like, right. You were yeah. in there, and then yeah. you were seeing it. You know, you were seeing yeah, it. Yeah, firsthand. because and then you Hershey's heard. already wiggling himself out of Aliados, and we see, you know, all this crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm like, Nerd. so yeah, I'm like, yeah. damn, okay, all this is gonna happen. So I'm like, compadre, hook me up now, bro. This hip sinking. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so he's like, yeah, I got you. So uh, he hits me up, and he's like, hey, Memo said to hit me, hit him up. I'm like, for sure. I called the memo. I'm like, hey, memo, what's up? And he's like, hey, so I heard you want to come through. I'm like, yes, I do. And he's like, okay, well, we're going to have tryouts, you know, this day more over here in Chicago. Come through if you're really interested. And I'm like, okay. So uh, after a gig, I told the guys, I'm like, I really got to go to Chicago. Uh, I have a, some crazy going on over there and I have to tend to it you know like yeah and they're like okay and it's crazy because he even took me to the airport I'm like man I feel such a like such a <laughs> bastard you know like, hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, fuck, you know? Hell yeah. <laughs> so whatever you know I got to Chicago met up with these guys bro again bro with nothing but all stars you know Christian Rangel saw that dude on the keyboards saw Junior on the fucking tubas I'm like Junior you're in oh, here too I'm another like, full circle I'm on like, that yeah. shit I'm like what the fuck dude that's crazy you know, mi compadre, I was expecting him and some, you know, a few other, <clears throat> you know, beasts and shit. You know, obviously, Memo Yomar, you know, had a thing going on. So, whatever, man, we get it going. Y ahí están este, ahí está Pedro Avila. You know, ahí está este, los publicistas. You know, ahí está la gente de Univision o de Universal, you know, during that time. Bro, so that's big shit, bro. It's like 
crazy, you know? And this is all because it's going to go under the name Alacranes Musical, yes. correct? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. For sure. So, so, yeah, bro. So, this shit pops. And uh, right away, they're like, all right, you guys are fit for the job. Let's do it. Bro, I'm like, I that's can't gotta, believe that, it. And then how was that for you? Because that's going to be crazy. Like, you're now a part of this band who technically takes the name because, obviously, they're the Alacranes, you know, right? right? And And you guys are playing... Fucking touring with the yeah shit with was the name. freaking yeah. wild after partying with them yeah after smoking, <laughs> after smoking yeah so, so with after them. first fighting yeah. then smoking then then taking yeah. their name now fighting again technically yeah. you know? so, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. we become the known as the fucking fakes the, I remember yeah. that bro yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, fuck the saying. fakes yeah fuck the remember fakes. that came a yeah. saying yeah so bro there was actually hashtag people, was yeah. hashtagging there was actually people at the fucking gigs be, that would say that man fuck the fakes yeah fuck the fakes <laughs> yeah bro yeah. crazy shit bro but just like there were people that didn't like you know the fakes. There were people that liked the new kids, you know, that see, be- see, because see. we were like a, a fresh breath of air, bro. Yeah. yeah. And we were all hungry again. You know, we were like super thirsty for it and shit, bro. And I think that's what really got an insight of what being a, um, you know, an artist really is because they used to tell us all the time. Well, Ahora son artistas. Yeah. Well, because uh, if people, if you're not from Chicago, you don't know what's going on. You don't know who the people who started the band are, you know, so everybody else dug it. Right. Hey, fuck it. These motherfuckers are... These motherfuckers are, like you said, the fresh breath of air. Yeah, 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 for sure, band. bro. The singers are still the singers, blah, blah, blah. Y pos. Cause, That's crazy. Because I felt that during was a crazy this time, time, they picked, you know, a good selection of guys, you know. Yeah. And, and and we were all, like, very energetic. We were all very, young, like, young still, bro. Y todos, pues, este, you know, este, very fit, you know. Those is, you know, you know, on young, our P's and Q's, yeah. you know, on our P's and Q's, bro. We would fucking work out, like, during fucking... You know, downtime and shit. You know, so they they got a, a really good bunch of 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 guys going and, and very talented too, bro. So it's the we got it going, bro. We really it's the I think we really did get it going, bro, for real. How long did that last? Like a, more than a year? It lasted uh, another two years. Two years. With, with right? you know what lo que era este el nombre de Alacranes. So during that time that we were with Alacranes, we get in, introdu- introduced to the idea of a reality show. So there was, they were actually, you know, looking, you know, to some dude was looking, to, you know, to produce a reality show, and you know, because Alacranes, you know, had the name and everything. During the time, they they pitched the idea, boom, and you know, we want to do a reality show. How how would you guys, you know, like if we do this? So actually, we did have a, a camera crew with us, you know, during our tours in Mexico. You know, c- kind of, you know, they were kind of building something up to present it. You know, so that's where where that would. You know, coming to play years later, later. Yeah. you know, to, oh, to land shit. us yeah. the fucking uh, that was reality like your, show the with pilot Mundo. Shit. Yes. Yeah. And that's when it was, yeah. Yeah, because the production company yeah. first interested it, in it. You know, yeah. since they saw it in it and brought its crew over. While you guys were at La Carnes. Yes. While the we fakes. were at La Carnes, the <laughs> fakies, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we were doing big shows, bro. I'm talking uh, about yeah. massives. Like, yeah, bro. We saw the, the best of the best, bro. I, I would never regret that, that era, bro. Whether, you know, whether it was the fakes or, or it wasn't, you know, whether we got there, you know, por nuestro merito, we didn't. I felt, I felt like we ultimately did, bro, you know, because um, during, before me getting there, bro, I struggled, you know, getting, you know, to where I wanted to get, you know, personally. And yeah. I got to where I wanted to get and my work, you know, was noticed. And, and my work and my oh, well, like you said, at that point, got me there. you guys were at a different platform you guys are artistas and you're not going to get there by just being a mediocre fucking yeah yeah for sure musician dude. you know you definitely deserved to be there yeah you know so that's why i i didn't like think like oh i don't deserve to be here because it wasn't no, 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 through no, my yeah. own merit you know yeah you know in 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 a way i yeah i'm like yeah i do deserve to be here and mm-hmm. yes i do deserve everything that's happening now you know that's the 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 nominations here yes the the appearances in these award shows and and all this shit, you know that I was in TV shows and shit. I felt like, bro, I really earned this, you know. I really did. Jeez, man, those are some wild fucking years right there, though, right? Yeah, bro. No, I it was it. sweet, bro. I loved every minute of it, bro. And uh, ya cuando pasó lo del nombre, bro, and they ultimately won the name, bro. Yeah. And we had to, we had to change our name, pues. That's when things, you know, started changing, bro. Pero 
este, uno todavía le echaba ganas. You know, we were still out there with the same energy, like, all right, alerta cero now. Not a problem. You know, we'll still fucking keep up the same energy, stop, you know, getting, doing our thing. Y, y por un tiempo, este, things were, uh, were, were looking all right. Because then that's when the reality show, reality show comes. Yeah. And, and, you know, fucking mundos, um, NBC Universal took interest in this project and buys this project from this production company. And boom, it becomes a reality. That was crazy. Yeah. Oh, so we got that, CTA buses and shit. Yeah, bro. We were all kinds of fucking billboards. Yeah. Shit was sweet. When I really saw that shit, I was like, dude, I can't believe it. Crazy, bro. When I brought the fucking cameras to the crib where you know, my parents used to live in, in the Ville and shit, my, my, my parents were like, holy shit, kid, for real? We can't believe it. Así teníamos este pinches photos así lined up the whole house and the whole camera crew, you know, micing them up and everything. It was crazy. They were like... Out of yeah, it, bro. Cool. Los saqué de onda. Pink. Yeah, yeah that was crazy. No, no, sweet, sweet, sweet In este ordeal, bro. <laughs> yeah, sweet fucking ordeal that we went through, bro. Este, very nice, um, very nice experience, bro. Pero, you know, it, it, it got a little soured up, bro. That fucking experience to me, it got soured up. The bro. reality experience? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Because although we were doing it with all this, you know, energy, bro, y, y este... Todo es, todas estas ganas de salir adelante, bro. Me, bro, I wanted, I, I thought we deserved something for what we were generating, bro. And I knew that we were getting paid. I knew that this shit was not free, bro. Yeah. I knew it. And I've made it fucking, you know, I made my discomforts, you know, clear with them. And then they started calling me a fucking, um, que este, un malagradecido, a fucking money hungry guy, que yo nomás este, me fijo en el billete. Usted nomás se fija en el billete. And I'm like, Who's this, like oh, your managers at yeah, the time? Yeah, the managers and shit at the time. And I'm like, bro, I'm working for this shit. Fuck you yeah. mean, you know? Yeah. Like, you know, I, I feel like we're putting some crazy ass time, bro. Sometimes we wouldn't even, like, we would get to Chicago and we wouldn't get to the house because we were too busy fucking filming. So, like, it's all this is fucking extra effort, my guy. I'm not going to the crib and chilling. I'm right here staying and we're doing this shit. Yeah. All day. All fucking day long. And then after we're done, we're three days of recording, we're going on fucking tour. Fuck you mean there's no fucking cut. And they were like, yeah, le vamos a dar su parte, no se preocupe. I'm like, all right, cool. You know, bro, but that never came. Nunca llegó la parte. No, la bro. No, and we signed contracts, uh, you know, and everything. This shit was all legit, bro. You know, and and to me, bro, it, it just sucked, bro, that, that, I don't know, bro. Uno, pues, hace un trabajo y a lo mejor se ilusiona, pues, on, oh, I'm going to make this. And we're like, for sure, I could, man, they got to pay us this. I'm already thinking that shit in my mind, bro. So when I found out that all this shit was just for free, bro, like, hey, um, so I'm like, so am I an investor now in your group? Because, um, you know, my investment's right there with you. You know, my, my pay, you know, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm going to get paid for yeah. this, whether it's a dollar, yeah. whether it's ten fucking dollars, where there's a hundred fucking dollars, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. Now you have it, bro. So I'm right now, automatically, I own something, you know, some kind of percentage. Oh, that makes me, um, you know, stock Partial holding or yeah. something. You know, I, I hold stock here or what? You know, that's what I came up with. And they're like, no, what the fuck? You know, blah, blah, blah. And was it just you, way, or was it all the guys kind of on you your side? Me, I, I, got, I got a little group going. Mi compadre, fucking mi union. Compadre Joelito, yeah, you know, because yeah. he was over here under my wang. And a couple of my other guys, I'm like, bros, are we fucking kidding? We're not going to get paid for the shit, bro. What the fuck you mean? Fuck you mean, you know? And they're like, yeah, you're right. He asked it, bro. We, we, we made a fucking huge-ass fucking meeting. This with Memo the singing? Yeah, Memo's there. Did he do it free, too? I don't know, man. I, I can't tell you if any el but anybody else got paid, but I can tell you that I didn't get paid. Yeah. And my guys that, that were right behind me, they didn't get paid either. Okay. The union didn't get paid either. You know? And that's all, as far as I know. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. And that was one season? That was one season, bro. <sighs> you know, that was, so, so for, pinche season. Technically, for the, for the uh, reality part of this, that no había no pinche billete en eso. Ni una pero, pinche pero pizona. We got paid. We got paid, bro. We got you paid know by, they got paid, obviously. For what I know for a fucking They got fact. paid. You guys yes, didn't get paid. Yes, yeah. I know for Do a fact. Do you know fact. the figure or no? Uh, bro, I, I, just fucking say it, bro. It's fucking 20 years ago. I know, right? Yeah. Well, 
to what I know, bro, I know 60 Gs. For the season. Yeah, for the season. As far as I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know any more of that. And, um, and this is with Alerta, right? This is with Alerta. Yeah, this is with Alerta Cero. Pedro Avila still behind no, there? No, Pedro right Avila's there? already out the picture. Yeah, he's out the picture. Yeah, like, he didn't cool, drop cool, the yeah. shit. He was like out of it already. <laughs> so, de ahí empezaron las inconformidades. From right yeah. there, bro. Sí, yeah, well. Ya no se compuso. From right there, we, it, it just tarnished everything, bro. Our efforts, bro. Our, we were just like. The morale went down, morale, right? Yeah. Dying, man. We were just like, man, what? Every time we would go on tour, bro, we would go on tour enojados, bro. Just like not, not feeling it, bro. It's the worst, bro. To go on tour, bro, to be out away from yeah. your family cuando no estás bien con el grupo no more, bro. The worst. It does eterno el viaje, and, bro. And were you guys making at least okay money at that time for the yeah. touring? Or, or nah, still not bro. that good either? It's not that It wasn't too good, bro. You know, it was for sure. You were, for sure, you were able to make more money working here locally yeah. and in a local group bro yeah. for fucking sure bro. wow yeah. for fucking sure but we were still there aguantando los vergazos bro aguantando and before los and before you had made okay money like in the other tours like oh the, yeah no no with alacranes you we were popping no, no. you were popping alacranes is popping alacranes is popping <laughs> yeah you know once it became alerta cero bro that's when Adios. it started Bam, yeah. that was going down Bam. little by little little by little hasta que <laughs> You know, but we were still at it, bro. We, yeah. Bro, we were still you guys loved fucking doing Either our way. thing. Yeah. Whether we were getting money or not. But that reality show thing, bro, just demoralized us, bro. Demoralized us. That was it for us. We weren't, we weren't having it anymore, bro. So from Fuck. right there, bro, Fofo comes in and sees this. And he's like, damn, my cousins, my cousin and my brother, man, it looks like they're going to get out. So he starts... Talking into you know, us, you know, making a fucking, uh, talking us into making a Norteño group. It's like, come on, let's make a Norteño group. Let's make a Norteño group. Let's make a Norteño group. And at first, we were going to do it. We were going to get out. Y como que nos rajamos. We were like, uh. nah, fo, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and, and fo already fo had like some, some guys, you know. Already, yeah. Pero pasó que mi compadre got fired abruptly from Alerta. Uh. Like, Boom. Bueno, yeah, algo así pasó. And, um, Right away, it's the, they got, you know, okay, so Joel's coming in on board, all right, boom. So Fofo dumps Clave Cinco. He's like, Clave Cinco, fuck this. Yeah. My brother's coming home, you know? So they got Brigada Norteña popping, bro. That's when they, st they started getting Brigada Norteña rolling. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the, he's, he brings some of his guys from Clave Cinco. He, he, uh, he uh, recruits some other guys, Fofo. This Fofo's doing all the recruiting. Gets, um... Uh, Lepe from uh, he's with uh, Vagos Vago. right now. Yeah, uh, gets uh, Diego. He's with uh, La Teclisa right now, and uh, and then I'm uh, I'm already here like seeing the group practice. I'm like, holy shit, the group's popping already. And by this time, como te digo, I was like not happy with Alerta at all. So I called me compadre. I'm like, compa, is there room for me over there? Oh yeah. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, come through. He's like, for sure. So, bro, yo tano me salía bien de alerta cero. I'm over here practicing with, with Brigada Norteña. Yeah. And yeah. Was that the, like, the first band, compa, that had like two sex? Because that's where, you, obviously, you were on the sex, and Joel was on the sex, right? And yeah, bro. I think there was the, the, probably a few of them, yeah. a few of them before us, bro. Pero, este, pues, pero hicimos, like, nosotros, nosotros you, hicimos yeah. Arwende because yeah. of it. You know, two sex yeah. ones, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Y este, because, you know, we were coming from a, you know, a sí, well-known sí, sí. band, you know, f you know, fresh out of a fucking reality show. Pues la gente, pues, nos yeah. ubicaba, bro. Oh, yeah. You know? So right away, este, I told este alerta, I'm like, that's it. I'm done. And uh, the following weekend, we start with Brigada. We kick fucking started. It's like I never No break that. for you. No yeah. break for me. I'm yeah. just going from one thing to the other. Que también yeah. locally was a bit of a putazo, right? Oh, uh, yeah, dude, my guy. Man, it was it ever, bro. Yeah. It was a, a putazo. Yeah, it was doing its thing, bro. It was doing its thing. It was doing its thing. We, we, we made a, a, a little noise, you know, when we started. We kicked it off real nice, you know, getting into good salones and shit. Yeah. We see more ruido, bro. You know, we see more ruido. And, and yo creo que por el ruido y la ruende que traíamos, la gente por la, 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 este, la animábamos, pues, you know? Yeah. And yeah. there Fofo gets out right away, no? After starting, the guy doesn't... Yeah, then, 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 then that's what happens, you know, what happens, that he gets out. Um, and that's when we record. We 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 recruit 
uh, Choche, este Márquez. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Y, y de ahí, pues, Brigada Norteña, pues, este, <laughs> sí, este yo, se empieza a dar ahí, este, although at first it stumbled, bro, it was, it was hard, you know, to get, it, to get it going, you know, guys coming in and out, bro, sometimes it was crazy because we were getting gigs and we didn't have a fucking group, bro, teníamos, like, nomás a Marcus, it was me and Huber and Marcus, y, y, and we're like, bro, we got this gig this weekend, fuck it, start calling guys, <laughs> yeah, we, was, we had to get a drummer, a bajo cestero, <laughs> somebody on the bass, so, yeah, bro, porque... You know, guys were on the move constantly. Aquí, como siempre en Chicago, bro. Where motherfuckers constantly the on the move. Yeah. Yeah. The free agency. Except sometimes, you know, se te salen in mid-season. Yeah. <laughs> That hurts even more, bro. Hell yeah. Así nos pasaba. Brigada antes, pues, estaba bien young. A group barely starting. Y, pues, oh, I have a chance with a better group or with a well more known or the group that's well more, you know, known well, and shit. Yeah. Y se iban. That's fucking nuts, way. That was, uh. I had forgotten about Marcus Way. Oh, yeah, Marcus no, no, he was definitely, definitely a fucking uh, a good piece to us, bro. And y, y ahí le dimos otro nivel, pues. We, we, we climbed up levels, you know. And as, as guys been, you know, were coming in and out, bro, pues, yeah, you know, kept on getting better and, and, and just more solid, you know, in the mix, in the mix. You know, all, all through the years came running through, bro. It was just crazy, bro, how motherfuckers would get out. In and out, and, and we were just still running solid, you know. Y para eso también se, se salió Joelillo. Yeah, so man, that one, that one was very tough, bro. To me, that was one of uh, the most tough, toughest things um, I had to endure through um, through our whole uh, journey with Brigada. Well, because you know, teníamos esa uh, camaraderie, you know, yeah. with with Alerta, you know, all these years with yeah. with Banda Real and that love, so. <coughs> Este, to me, man, yo pues yo no miraba nada malo en, en mi compadre, you know, I was like, you know, déjenlo, <laughs> like, don't tell him nothing, shit, you know, pero pues también así, este, empiezan los problemas, you know, when you're not, este, clarifying things and shit like that, you know, y, y, y si por decir, there's, their behaviors, bro, that, that you're not, you know, too cool with and shit, you know, but you're not really voicing them out there, you're not really yeah. grabbing them and, hey, you know, What's going on, you know? Este, pues pasan muchos malos entendidos. And so that's exactly what happened there, bro. It came to the point where um, uh, mi compadre was like, you know, pues I'm going to take this day off, hijo. Así pasó. And, okay. Y, y I think it was um, a festival that he was trying to take off. And and some of the guys were like, nah, man, that's fucking bogus. Then we're not going to play in a, fe in a festival. You know? Fuck that. They were the guys, you know, like, I'm, I'm like, no, well, how could you guys going to play in a festival? Well, come on, what the fuck? You know, this is a big festival. I think it was the Cicero Festival, some shit like that. Oh, yeah, okay. And um, and they're like, you're not saying the same thing to your compadre. Uh. Like, Damn, so that's where, like, shit, like, started, like, también brewing, bro, and... Problems started arising because of that, bro. Y pasa que, este, because back then, we were more of a society, pues, than just sole owners. Yeah. Este, the guys vote Joel out. Ah, so, la verga. You know what? Can't deal with this. Yeah, then. But then, este, it was crazy because I was in Vegas, and uh, I wasn't even here, bro. So I come back from Vegas, and they tell me, hey, you know what? We kicked the Joel. I'm like, what the Fuck, yeah, motherfuckers. I'm like, ah, I was pissed, dude. I was livid, pissed, pissed. But I mean, este, you know, pues it was a tough situation, bro. Nevertheless, bro, nevertheless, because este, you know, pues hubo inconformidades, you know, all throughout the family, bro. You know, like, you know, my uncles, you know, pues no lo vieron bien. They're like, you know, you kicked out our son or you didn't do enough yeah. to keep him there. You know, and it was a group that we were all supposed to keep together as, you know, cousin, as family, you know, because again, Mi Tio gave us a name, you know, he baptized us, Brian Ortega. Oh, shit, he gave you guys that name too? Yeah. Full baptized. circle. Yeah. Man. Another fucking and the, full circle. And the yeah, bro, so he baptized yeah. us, you know, so it was like a lot of things were going on, you know, that, that were just in the family, you know, with, with the group and the music and just the, all the years that we had already gone through, bro. So, man, bro, it was definitely a, a tough time. Tough time to go through. Fuck. You know, go with the family. Y, y, y pues personal también, yo, you know, because I'm like, man. 
That sucks, you know. So is that bro, what you're more out down. Yeah. Yeah, that's when yeah. these niggas get out and they do sex. Sex thingo comes in. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. So as they with a uh, Juelita free agent and Fofo free agent. They go over like, there and do that. sex thing. Fofo started recruiting nigga motherfucker. Uh, yeah, then yeah. started recruiting again. Or boom, 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 boom. Fofo's good at that, though. Yeah, yeah. He's a good recruiter, as soon as right? He's out, he's fucking on to the next project, building the next team. This time oh, around, he's, he's a, a good bit. team builder, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good yeah. GM. <laughs> <laughs> then he quits. <laughs> then he quits and goes to a different team. Goes and builds Fucking a different dude, team. Then builds another squad, right? Yeah. Looking to see who's going to win the championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see which nah, one's nah, going to nah. hit. Ahorita, ¿cuánto tiene Brigada, bro? Well, Brigada already has uh, 10 years, bro. Oh, shit. Se fue bien pinche rápido el tiempo, bro. So you did 10, the pretty much of fucking, fucking 10 years of tour life and jumping around and blah, blah, blah. 20 blah. years, bro, of everything. Yeah. Of yeah. everything, you know, it's the, bro, it's just astounding, bro, how time just flies and all of a sudden, bro, you just have it hanging over you. You're like, bam, I'm 20 years deep into this shit. It's yeah. crazy. It's all I know, bro. I'm 26 years old, so I've been doing this longer than anything. Than anything. I've been doing this longer than I haven't been doing it, you know? So it's crazy, How old you know? are you? Sorry. 36. Yeah. So, so more than half of my life. Yeah. More than half of my life for sure, bro. But, you know, I mean, it's been a beautiful fucking journey, bro. You know, I um, I think about, you know, the, when the time comes to retire, I'm like, man. I used to not think want to think about it or I used to say it, it would never come. But I think now I come to the realization where it has to come. Yeah. Why? Why does it have to come? Because... I feel like um, I gave enough, bro. I've, I've, oh, I've yeah? Gave. You feel like you can't give more? I could, I, right now, that's why I'm still here. You uh-huh. know, I, and, and I want to give it all, you know, from the time that I, I, you know, feel that it's time to let it go. Because también, you know, I want to save some, you know, también energy, you know, to, to be able to enjoy también con la family, you know? Hell yeah. They're the ones that are most uh, affected by us being out here. Correct. The musicians, you know? Yeah. The family, bro. You miss a lot of time, a lot of parties. You know, the weekends, bro. You know, where everything happens, all the parties happen. You're talking about you missing kids, birthdays. You're missing births. I miss births, you know. No, all my sure. kids, you know. Your own kids' births. Yeah, bro. You know, you're missing all kinds of shit. Yeah. So I feel like, I mean, like y'all say, you need to come full circle with something, you know. And, and you know, close it out. Yeah. And it was a good ride. And, and I feel like it's still not time. But I, I now at least I come to terms with it that it, that it must happen. Porque si había pinche rumorcitos, pi, ¿eh? Yeah, right. Que pinche year out, que brigada, que la chingada. Y... Yeah, no, that's. I, 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 I'll be honest. I didn't, I didn't believe any of them rumors. They've been because... crazy as rumors out there, bro. Especially nowadays. Salí, que, que I'm gone. Que I got fired. That uh, I'm no longer in the group and shit. That the singer kicked me out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, no, pues, este, pues todos son dimes y diretes, bro. I mean, you know, when things happen, aquí somos nosotros muy chismosos and shit. We would like to fucking come to our conclusions and shit, right? Yeah. Claro. Como que lo sabemos todo. Like, hey, ese güey se salió porque este cabrón yeah. doesn't like him and, and one night. Por eso he's like, hey, get this guy out or I'm leaving. You know right, 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 right. <laughs> you know, uno es bien chismoso, bro. Y de volada se hace uno pinches ideas. Because right now you've been chilling. Yeah, I've been chilling, bro. Pero, este, you know, just taking some time back también, bro. Este, um, you know, more personal time. I think uh, I deserve it, bro. Y, y, you know, some time off the group también, you know. Um, I think también este, you know, all these years with the group, bro. Este, pues, así como, pues, forja, you know, um, buenas amistades y todo, bro. Pues también uno también... Ocupa un, un descanso de lo que hace, you know, este, you know, being around these guys all the time, you know. No creas, you know, pues uno también va a decir así como que, ah, este cabrón ya hasta me cae gordo porque es bien pinche enfadoso, güey, you know. You, you start yeah, seeing yeah. like the, the, like a marriage, bro, you know what Yeah, it's exactly like that, bro. Like a marriage, bro. You start seeing, you know, your your partner's flaws and shit. They're like, yeah. man, this nigga, we're here, we're doing this, you know, doing that and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. You know, so it's like everything, bro. Este, sometimes, you know, you step, step back, and see, uno este is in the wrong post, you clear shit off, you know, and uh, still try to get better, bro. I feel like um, I have a lot to give still in the fucking tank, bro. 
there's still um, a lot in me to come and fucking, you know, just come down with, bro. Y, y, pero también uno ocupa su, su tiempo libre, bro, to kind of just re, re, este, unwind. Rewind, I was going to say rewind. Almost like a, almost like a reset, though. Reset, the way, yeah. reset, bro. Unwind, reset, bro, and find a, kind of find yourself again, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can yeah, get yeah. lost in, in this whole process, bro. Oh, you, you yeah, know, yeah, with, you with fucking, um, with the women, with the fucking vicios, drugs, alcohol, you know, uh, with the money. Yep. You know, and you lose who you are, bro. You lose what's the, um, your... You, but the reason why you're here in the first place, you know, the love for the music. Yeah. Hell yeah. I a thousand percent fucking agree with everything you just said. Man. Yeah, for sure, bro. It's so, very difficult to stay uh, grounded. I won't say humbled because yeah. I think humble is a different definition in my opinion, but grounded for sure. Grounded. Yeah. That's what you wanted to stay grounded, yep. bro. And, um, you know, all, all this music thing, bro, comes with a lot of shit. And with a lot of shit, bro. And, and I really commend those guys that uh, that stay sober throughout this whole shit, bro. They keep it together. They, you know, que no toman, que no fuman. Es que está bien cabrón, güey. I bet. Está bien cabrón you know, ese pedo, güey. Este, they, they don't do nothing, bro. And I, there's uh, a, quite a few of them out there. And I really commend that, bro, that are just about the craft, you know? Yeah. I'm like, fuck, I wish I could be just like that. <laughs> it, it, there's probably like a minimum, though, right? Yeah. You know, porque todos, pues somos bien, este, uno somos muy borrachos, nos gusta el pinche Porque padre. aunque no sean borrachos o que no tengan vicios de drogas, you said it best way, like, that doesn't mean that those guys are not out there being man whores, you know, like, that's also a vicio, right? Like, the women, um, the greed with money, I mean, that's not good either, bro, it blinds you. There's just so many factors that make you lose your, your priorities and, and how it started with the fucking love, the, uh, obsession with music it gets confused with how much do i make an hour it gets confused to let's get high it gets confused like i just met this bitch sorry i just met this chick and we're gonna you know like it gets confused way and especially when you're young and upcoming and popular and all of the above like my boy has got a good looking you know it's just like el guapote, el guapote. Sí, wey, o sea, I've always, I, I've said it so many times, man. I, I love speaking, you know, with you, with people like you, musicians. I feel like we have some sort of like a musician trauma, almost like a PTSD. Once you leave the music, yeah, it, it, bro. It's awkward. Well, I won't speak for you, but if you go as a guest to a seen it. privada, and you're on this side of the stage, you're just like, who the fuck do I talk to? I'm usually on stage. Oh, shit, I haven't seen my cousin in 20 years because I'm never here. And it's just, like, awkward. It's socially awkward being on the other side. Way. It's just nuts. And it's it's very tough to adjust. Almost, I would assume, I've never been in prison. But when they get out into the real life, you get out to the real life and you don't even know how to act with your family way because you really haven't done anything on the weekends with them ever. Like exactly, that. bro, for sure. You right? Like, you like that Kobe Bryant meme? So what do you like? <laughs> when Kobe yeah. Bryant retired from basketball, he's like, oh, meme boy. so what do y'all like? Yeah. <laughs> Same thing with us, bro. You know, it's that you it's the, um, give so much time to your craft, bro. Yeah. You know, and, and you're always about what you're doing and the music. And it takes just a whole bunch of time from you. You know, a whole bunch of time. He, he, you don't realize it until all these years pass. Yeah. And you're like, damn, I missed that. I missed this. I missed that. I missed that. And yeah. it just begins to pile up so high. You're like, wow, I missed a big chunk of life. Yeah. For and real. if you become a little undisciplined, you pick up bad habits that once you try to, like, stop, it's fucking oh, difficult. Oh, yeah, dude. Super difficult. Yeah, for sure. For sure, bro. You know us that we've been here since we've been young. Yeah. So, you know, 16 years old, bro. You know, acostumbrado a la pinche peda. You know, because yeah. it all comes hand in hand. You know, llegábamos a las prácticas, the 24 pack was always there. Yeah. Llegaba el compa ahí with a blunt and shit, you yeah. know, or yeah. por otra cosita más. Chingadera. Tiene chingadera. <laughs> Tiene chingadera. <laughs> yeah, anyway. You know, it was always like that, bro. And we grew up like this, bro. I'm talking about this shit was like this in our first practices. Yeah. 16, and now you're <laughs> so most guys, 20 bro. years later. Yeah, that's why it's still most be guys, happening, you know. Yeah. 
are like, why wouldn't it be the same still to this day? Yeah. You know? And that's why it's so easy to get lost in the sauce, bro. So hard to be a true professional. Yeah. So hard to be a true professional of this craft, bro. And I commend everybody that is, bro. They they get to work, bro. As they just leave everything to the side. You know, straight up performing, bro. You know what? I'm one of us. You know, I'm gonna give you guys a good performance, the best yeah. of what I what I have, you know, to give. And a clean one, también, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah. you know what that's badass, bro. And it's good that it sounds like you realized what the whatever the fuck, you know, and and it realized like you're 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 resetting. You know, so you're knowing like, hey, oh shit, I was lost. And now I'm fucking let me take some time, fucking find me, and then you can go back to it. Or say fresh again. Oh yeah, for sure, bro, for sure. And, and, and like I said, you know, todas esas cosas sirven, bro. And, you know, uh, every little um, experience that you go through in the music b- business sirven because yeah. you see what not, what not to. Just don't get lost in it, motherfucker. They, they, you're not gonna see shit, you know. Yeah. You know, some people get lost in it, bro. Get lost in the sauce, bro. Y vale madre. Yeah. You know, vale madre, y, y, and they become sad cases. Sad cases, bro. They're like, damn, that guy was such a talent. And that's something that I personally don't want to be, bro. I personally don't want to be a has-been. Like, oh, man, that guy used to be so good, and now look at him. Yeah. Messed up, you know? Yeah. That's definitely, you know, I want to be looked at, you know, gracefully, bro. You know what? This guy came in, did his thing, came out, and left the mark, you know? As big or as little as it is, but there's something there of him, you know? And we commend them, you know. And you know what? I don't think I've done pretty bad for myself, man. You know, you know, this the todavía llegan guys just then remind me of those days and shit. And they're like, hey, you know what? You you, you inspired us, guy. They yeah. they're like, man, bro, we play sax because you, because you were playing us so badass, and we're like, we liked it, yeah. you know. And that that yeah, that makes you feel good, bro. You know, that makes you feel good. It gives you more energy, también, you know, to kind of keep on going. Although aquí in Chicago, pues. There's not that many saxophone players, right? They're, they're mostly into what's in now, the guitars, los cierreños, mm-hmm. you know? And that's cool, you know? Pero este, you know, to all those little shorties coming up, man, you know, hey, there's those younger, younger ones are watching too, you know? So just do your shit gracefully, you know, and, and love what you do. For sure. Hell yeah, we. Yeah, yeah, bro. I, I mean, especially practice, bro. Practice like a motherfucker porque... That's becoming a lost art in itself, like. For sure, bro. Right? Oh, yeah. That whole fucking hunger that we were talking about earlier when you first started, it's almost non-existent, way. I mean. Bro, everybody, bro, I'm talking about, it, it, it fucking shits me, bro, that I see these young kids already, like, barely fucking getting a strum in. How much am I going to get paid? Like, you don't even know how to play, motherfucker. Yeah. You know, like, and you're already fucking saying how much you want to get paid. You know, like, fuck you, me. You know, <laughs> they got through how oh, much. Yeah. It's like, this is what I want to make. Yeah. I need 120 a set. Like, oh, whoa, Holy what the fuck shit. up? Yeah. What the fuck? You know, or, you know, some of these shorties get time. real good. Y de volada ya te están cobrando, like, a bunch, right? You know? Definitely different times. Yeah. Ahorita es más como, hey, let's jam out. And we jam out and, like, I'm going to book the studio next week. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> Fuck like, it. What? <laughs> yeah. For man. sure, bro. You know, people move fast nowadays. It's just. Pero se vale, güey. O sea, it's, 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 it's a whole pedo. different thing now. Yeah, it's yeah, otro pedo. Yeah, yeah. You know, with these, with these new up-and-comers, bro, and, um, you know, these young bucks that are coming up doing their thing and stuff, it, I think it's just uh, different from how we were. When we were coming up, yeah, yeah, este, we didn't care este, if we had to play for free. You know, we we weren't thinking about that. First yeah. thing was in our minds was to get out there. Y la ilusión to play in these clubs. Yeah, yeah. la ilusión. You know, and and these kids, you know, pues, they might be a little bit more woke, more woke. woke. That well, that's sense. what it is. I mean, because there's more, there's more opportunity now. Like now, motherfuckers. First of all, they learn on YouTube, easy as fuck, and they're beast fast as fuck and they're like oh well we can make money we yeah. can blow up you know they, they they kind of i think people come into the to the music scene now thinking like it's, we can blow up quick quick you know and there's there's it's easier for them to be like no nah, nigga, i want to get paid you know because i'm good at what i do blah 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 i think it's just different it's a different mentality yeah, all they need different. is 30 seconds of good tiktok mm-hmm. and they're gonna get some 
and some now fucking books. And now they're going to get booked. Yeah. Like crazy. You know? well, bro, well, look at the landscape nowadays. Yeah. Look at how much youth there is now in regional Mexican. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm Tons saying. Tons of it. Even, even that was a different thing back in the day for you guys. You guys were like, oh, shit, we're young guys. We're starting this Mexican band. You know, but it wasn't it wasn't as popular as it is now. You know? That along with Tamien P, would you think or agree that you we would see the regional and they were all Mexican. So it was mentally for me, I would think like it's really tough for me to make it because there's a thousand of me in the motherland. And I don't see any of my kind in Chicanos, you know, making it. Who the fuck was making it back then that right. spoke English and shit yeah, was and tough. was in regional? And now it's like... In the earlier days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in the, the earlier days. days. Now it's like, Yahweh is dominated by these, yeah. by no, these people. Sure. Well, I guess no. Pierre was part of the that first wave of... Correct. Of motherfuckers of the new generation, the, the Mexican Americans, no, the Mexi yeah. Mexican, yeah, Mexican Americans. But we were the were first wave, it. yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, you were, the, you were, you know, the wave that was, you know, before mine, and then here comes ours, you know. Yep. Este and that you went know, big. Mexican Amer yeah. Mexican Americans, you know, este que we were not like from the motherland, pero éramos de aquí, and we loved the shit, and. Right. and and boom, around that time, bro, there was so many, like, dudes that were musicians, you know, porque tocaba la tambora. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y ahí es cuando salió el trend de los saxophone players, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ahí, tamborazo, yo, yeah. como ahorita el cierreño, porque es trendy. O sea, yeah, that was... Yeah, that yeah, was, trend saxophone players yeah, came from right that there. Was, yeah. That was what's happening now with the guitars, you know. Exactly. Like, tons bro. of them now, the dude. Saxophone like, players, fucking yeah. tololocheros come out from the fucking Tololoches, bro, shit. where the fuck, right? Now, like, that's probably the one that is now. You know, yeah, like charcheteros. Yeah, the charcheteros. I, I mean, for a while it was the tuba. You know, when the Norteño Banda had Ortiz, everybody wanted the tuba. Everybody, Norteño, metele una tuba, güey. It's, it's just, sure. it's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. And, and, and I could only help but wonder what's going to be next, right? Yeah. What is next, bro? Damn. Whoa, what? We're AI. Kind of, yeah, well, we're. Oh, nah, whoa. dude. The, man, we, we got to keep this shit human. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we only got like 10 years of that shit, man. <laughs> Did you see how oh, the guy did the maybe, Apple Vision? Hey, that's kind of now, now that the whole Neuralink thing, maybe I'll be able to be a musician, you know, put the Neuralink in. Bam, I want to play yeah, this. Bro. Boom. Guitar. I'm a beast. Just make up some Instantly. shit. Just put your thoughts, bro. Yeah, just like, yeah. you know what? Make up go. some fucking melody in your thoughts. Like, hey, man, I mean, fucking guys. make my voice into Chalino, and then you start singing in your Chalino <laughs> and shit. <laughs> Yeah, That's like the, the new AI songs that are coming out with uh, all these um, uh, fucking old school singers and shit. Yeah, badass. I mean, I enjoy it. It's, I mean, I think that AI is going to be some other shit, man. I mean, they're all walking around with this Apple Vision. Si lo vio o no? Have you seen any of these yet? I think. All these people walking around the city with Apple Vision, the goggles. You still, you still could see, right? So, so you could still see. But then but you're seeing all this other shit, right? You can That's open awesome. a lot of windows, way. Fucking nuts, bro. So you can have like Facebook over here, Apple Music, Twitter, Notes app, and then the real. You can watch videos and that shit, yeah. You like, can watch YouTube, yeah. yeah. You can watch the NBA game Fuck. while you're like here. We can be on the fucking Apple Vision Shh. watching a game and having the fucking pod. Peter fucking playing the sax right there and watching some shit. On Crazy, like, yeah. and that's just nuts, in right? The, I mean, the middle just of the, Ellis. the way <laughs> oh, technology's yeah. going, you know, nowadays, bro, is just man. Crazy shit, bro. Yeah. You can't really wrap your mind around it. No, no, no. That's why I don't know where the fucking music is going to go away. Yeah. With it's all scary. this new wave, yeah. It's, that's, yeah. it's scary and it's exciting and it's just like, I mean, I don't know. What are they going to do? Like, let's just say somebody as big as Peso Pluma is going to be like, well, AI, make me an album and I'll just drop my voice. Hey, but you know what was cra what's crazy, bro? That I used to think that regional Mexican was gonna die i'm like you know what really? all these pochos they don't even fucking speak a lick of fucking spanish this is gonna die bro this shit's bigger hot than as, ever. and ever. hot as it it's ever been bro. ever regional mexican as a whole is it's as hot as it's ever been ever it's crazy it's reached new heights of it's worldwide yeah at this yeah. point yeah. now it's reached new heights of popularity and it's the beginning yeah it's like the like the Dr. Dre NWA, like it's that era in the Mexican regional right now, barely. Pero I think that's why they were trying to call it like urban regional. Did you hear about that? No. 
Yeah, so that's they, a new fucking uh, like Jimmy and them. They're trying to call it uh, regional urbano. Urbano, yeah. Oh, whack. Yeah, so because yeah. it's more like you know fucking Mexican American and not the traditional regional Mexicano and shit. No, I mean, I, well, I guess it's warranted. Kind of makes it sense, def- right? Definitely has its own style. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and but who came up with it? Where they, where the hell did this style stem from? California. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember back in the Duranguense, they were trying to make that their own, or it became its own genre, too? It wasn't like regional Mexicano. Yeah, it, 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 was it, just, got, it was like a yeah. subdivision. Yeah, it was subdiv- same concept. Because yeah. right? they even had a fucking, uh, its own category for Correct. a lot of fucking premios. Yeah, yes, Duranguense, sir. Duranguense, Del Año and shit. Yeah. Well, that was more también because the older, the older people were like, well, this is not regional. Exactly. You know, so that's where a lot of that stems from, too. The, more of the... The old timers be like, fuck that. This new shit isn't like you, you think like them traditional people be like watching this fucking taiga being part of a yeah. a regional. They're like that ain't regional. Yeah, like the whole when Pepe and Nata were going at it, you yeah. know, that was a big part of it. You know, he's like, Fuck that. This fucking guy, you know. Oh Pepe Aguilar. Pepe Aguilar. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Crazy way. It's going through some good times. But you know, because of Urbano or whatever. Yeah. It is going worldwide because of that. Si, si. Uh, they are on Jimmy Fallon, yep. you know. Because of that, you know, they're fucking Peso Plumas in Europe doing tours. Because of that, you know, they're headlining fucking Coachella. Yeah. Um, Where was that? The Grammys yesterday or whatever. The hell he that won was. one yesterday, yeah, right? He? Yeah, he, he won, won album right? del año with Genesis. Did he? Damn, yeah. Yeah, most I didn't even yeah. see that. Palace. But uh, because of that, Danny That's Lux so sold out the Houston fucking stadium. Which no one has done it in the regional, sixty five thousand seats. Motherfucker. You know because of that, Grupo Firme did five shows in a row at at fucking Staples, yeah. and then sold out the SoFi. Yeah. I mean these are crazy numbers that they're yeah, doing. Yeah, they're wild and yeah, yeah, bro. But you know, you know what's crazy to me, bro, is that um, the old schools would would um, they would say that maybe these kids aren't as talented as they used to be. But why are they so fucking groundbreaking? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? It's all perspective. Like, for saying Natanael Cano, bro. Like, what does fucking Natanael Cano have that, um, I don't know. Um, let's say fucking, hmm. It's the guy that was all into cocaine. It's the fucking oh, that's uh, Pancho Barraza. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You didn't filter that <laughs> yeah. down too much, Wayne. That's a lot of options. <laughs> <laughs> Pancho Barraza, bro. Pancho yeah. Barraza is super freaking talented. Yeah. But he definitely did not reach the heights that some of these artists are reaching right now. Yeah. The motherfucker didn't show up at a motherfucking American talk show to do some promo. You know? Peso Pluma was already a fucking, um, what was it, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon. Fallon. Yeah, Frontera was already where fucking um, uh, Frontera did some big shit already too. Yeah, I forgot which one, but you're right. J- nobody did, did Jimmy they... Kimmel yet. Oh, no, or I was think, it him? No, or was it? Because um, I know uh, Karim Leon did Karin Jimmy Leon. Fallon. Oh yeah, he did, did it too. So yeah. did Eslabon Armado did Good Morning America? I think. Yeah, this is fucking yeah. insane, yeah. dude. This yeah. is never ever ever seen before. Why the fuck were Los Bukis doing some shit like this? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what well, I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. It's just a different time now with the whole media, with the whole social media. These groups are going fucking worldwide even before. They're breaking ground, yeah, though, dude. Yeah. Breaking and, ground. And we're going to see a lot of these artists, uh, urbanos, we'll call them for now. We're going to see a lot of millionaires slash billionaires. Oh, yeah. Which we never seen before yeah. because it was a lot more corrupt before. Like, back then you had a lot of billionaire fucking disqueras and managers stealing money, taking fucking reality shows from motherfuckers. Yeah. Now they they won't they won't be able to get away with that. Yeah. Dude, for grabs. dude oh, you well. would put it up. Let's just say this happened this other thing would happen now and you guys would you would have fucking put it on blast on social media oh, yeah. in a heartbeat yeah. way. And they would have been like down on these fucking the the brothers that were in charge and you know fucking with the money and all that. Like but no way Oh, yeah, yeah, everything is a lot more accountable as well, yeah. you know? No, for sure. Everything's more transparent, bro. We're living yep. in a very transparent world. Yeah. Where you can no longer hide shit. You know, everything's right there, seen right there. Yeah. Yeah, these <sighs> motherfuckers are blowing up. Like, the hobby kid, I'll say. He's Interscope. Fucking, he, 
Interscope? Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Yeah, no mames, like he's, he's and there's made, a couple, he made the bag. There's What's a couple that? Interscope yeah, artists out there, yeah, bro. He, they're they're going wow. straight to the to the top bag, you know. There's no there's no fucking middle guys. Or maybe there is, maybe there's not, but no shit. Yeah, these That's motherfuckers crazy. are going straight so this to shit's the top going now. to another level. See, wait, it's it's just and all, it's wild to see, uh, bro. It, 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 you know, and it's crazy. It's and you know, I'm happy that that I had the wrong perspective on it because I really think, did think like I'm thinking, man. You know what, man. Rejonel is gonna die one day. And yeah. You know what? No, the fuck, it's not, dude. Oh, no. no, it's not because now you got other people, other people, bro. Now this shit is like reggaeton, bro. It modernized, now, bro. Yeah, yeah it's modernized. They're listening to this shit out in uh, Argentina, mm-hmm. in Colombia, Venezuela. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, any land country, all the bro. collabs, like all that. Helps. In Spain, your shit's getting Spain, listened to, yeah. bro. Yep. You know, shit like that. and now, bro, the way shit is, bro, everybody has a fucking shot. Everybody, the locals, whoever, you know, just the way everything's shaped, bro. It's like everything's up for grabs. That's why yeah. Chicago it's, has to keep going through their fucking uh, free agency every couple of months. Yeah, bro. You like, know, you have to readjust. La 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 it's like a Rubik's Cube, my nigga. You need <laughs> to get right. all the colors together so it could be pow, popping. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah. Hell yeah. I like that. It is like Rubik's Cube. Yeah, for sure. No, if you got to move this piece here, this move, move, move this piece is there then you know it's gonna we're, look better we were having this conversation where like not i don't know if it's a bad thing but granted loyalty is kind of out out the window nowadays well, for sure um maybe it's convenience over loyalty into to some sense but because the pool just you know there's no more like there's still gatekeepers i would imagine but you can throw your dart out there and it just might hit the odds are fucking slim, though, because así como está wide open for everybody, it's like saying, like, uh, if you're a hooper and you're fucking hooping at fucking Petrovsky Park, you have a shot to make the NBA just because you're hooping. Like, está, está más cabrón porque the, 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 the fucking pool is open to everybody to upload your shit, but at least you have some sort of shot. Yes, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Like, it's not impossible anymore. Whereas, you know, everything was monopolized back then, where totally. only a few fucking uh, record yeah. labels had the control of all the fucking, the only fucking um, media source radio that you could, you know, listen Ooh. to all the songs. Now, do you can listen to any okay. kind of song anywhere, bro. Yep. So it's all up for grabs. It's it's all for the taking. It's, it's how much you fucking want it, yeah. you know? And how good is it, you know? Because if you got some shit that's good, that pops... You know, it could just catch fire on its own, dude, on its fucking own. Yeah. You know, and and now in this in these days, this is where that's the most possible. You know. What are you listening to nowadays, bro? Man, I listen to a little bit of everything, bro. Um, you know what? I I like what these new kids are doing. You know, I, I really do like Peso Pluma, Junior H, um, Gabito Ballesteros. They're very talented fucking kids. You know, although they're bringing um. Like a different approach to to like the style and 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 a lot of people are thinking like man that motherfucker's not fucking talented but you know you listen to the lyrics you know, they're very good composers they're very good musicians they play the guitar you know and so bro we're in good hands I think um, even if uh, regional Mexican heads that way you know uh, all these little kids are, are liking that shit you know mm-hmm. um, given that it's very because it's, it's explicit content, you know? Oh, yeah. That's very different, right, yeah. too? Explicit content. Because <laughs> now they're talking about it's the, a lot of shit that yeah. they used to talk about. They're not know? used to talk about Never drugs, really. you know, heavier oh, yeah. drugs, you know. And like, they wouldn't cartels. say cocaida yeah. and shit. Now, there's and all, obviously all these different names. Tusi lavada. Tusi lavada. Yeah. But they're, they're talking about the fucking drugs, you know? And, and although the narco corrido has, you know, 40-year history... Is that now you know? Is the these these um like now it, it's, it's I think it's becoming more as the well it's actually it's not becoming it is now as yeah. the uh, culture. See, si. yeah, si. for sure. Yeah, and it was then, but it it was more. I was say it wasn't so blatant, right? Because you know, but before, were, remember in during the nineties, they used to call it corridos prohibidos. Yeah. Corridos yeah, prohibidos. You couldn't hear them because you guys they're telling too much, you know. Yeah, yeah. and it's only from <laughs> four to six p.m. bro. Preparen el pase, hijos de la chingada. Sí, bro. Ahí viene. Ya este, ¿Cómo se llama? It's crazy how it's, it's been evolving in its name. You know, it used to be Correos Progresivos at one point. Yeah, the Gerardo era. Yeah. 
Eh, no, este, corridos tumbados, Anche. Corridos bélicos. verdes. Corridos verdes. Corridos bélicos, no. Then you got the belly contentos. The happy corridos alegres, contentos. What? That's what they call it now, belly contentos. Yeah, well, the corridos contentos. Have you heard those? Mm -mm. Oh, man, we like to play music like on this that. bitch. Boom, boom, boom. It's like the happy version of a corrido, bro. That doesn't talk about uh, drugs or what? It does. Oh, about it drugs. does. Yeah. Well, it more talks more of a good time than just... What's this? Bro, evolution at its fucking yeah. finest, bro. Dude, oh, you yeah, start hearing the trombone, the way they make it sound, like jazzy. No, evolution at its fucking finest, bro. These kids, bro, no tienen madre, man. Like, they don't have no fucking, like... They don't have no longer. There's no longer any fucking uh, boundaries to yeah. how they there's do this. There's no shit. boundaries, yeah. correct? Before you used to probably be like, oh, we can't do this shit. What yeah, uh, bro, tell that to a fucking grown ass yeah. old man, bro. Tell that to Don Ambrosio de este los jirigueros de los jirigueros, <laughs> yeah, los jirigueros de norte and shit. <laughs> Don Ambrosio like fuck that. Sacate a la chingada. Yeah. We're gonna keep playing it the same way we've been Pinche playing it for the last you know, thirty like, fuck years. You mean, you know? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, bro. Oh, you know all these new, new. I mean. All these new kids, bro, definitely ain't gonna appeal to the to the older crowd, yeah. bro. But to us, bro, they're still like we're in the middle, bro. I like to I like to think we're we're, spot, we're mediators, bro. Yeah. We're still in the old school because we love our yeah. fucking old love, school. Love the the where we it love came our, from. our Chalino Sanchez, bro. <coughs> our, Better our, are also okay with the new shit. We love our fucking Vicente Fernandez mm -hmm. and our fucking Javier Solis, where the shit really came from. And but we like the shit that's coming down, out now. Well, we're, we we are open enough to accept it, way right? I think that's yes. what it is, because the older yeah, guys, first, you just said yeah. like, they so, won't so accept uh, it, way. For, for, I think for us, there's no better. I mean, th I don't think anybody else in our age group has better perspective than we do. Yeah. Well, bro, we are living in probably the best time in this fucking world, way. You know, from fucking technology to music to fucking cars, like no matter way, like we are right there at the cusp of fucking the greatest thing ever. How do you feel about Corridos uh, Alevanzas Bélicas? You fuck with that? What in the son of a bitch fuck? What? Dude, what's <laughs> up, P? Let me bro, put, tell This me, is bro. my personal favorite. Please, please. Go right here. Bro. Enlighten me. He listens to this all fucking like me. No, it's no bother. Lyrics start. Come in. Yeah, like a mi copa Rafa. No se agüite, bro. Protégeme, Señor, con tu espíritu. Ah, la verga. Protégeme, Señor, con tu espíritu. Protégeme, Señor, con tu espíritu. Bro, Rafa's jamming to this shit, though. Huh? My nigga's like, heck. Protégeme, Señor. Hell yeah. Y déjame sentir el fuego de tu amor. That nigga's taking his hostia with this shit real nice. <laughs> Pásame ese vino, bro. Shout out to this guy. Hey, nunca... put this in the next service, my name. No lo he conocido, pero el compa, el Obama, uh, Carlos Anderson, if you ever watch this, <laughs> eres mi ídolo, hijo de la chingada. Te echa un chingo de promoción aquí en Chicago, yo. <laughs> pero felicidades, acaba de integrarse a la banda MS. Nah. He is the new trombone player for banda MS. Wow, oh, well, yeah. congrats to my guy. Yeah. yeah. Shit. Hitting the big time. For there sure. You go. But just another example of the no boundaries, bro. Banda MS y Alabama. For sure. No, no, no boundaries is something real oh, now. Yeah. No, and it's beautiful to see, bro. Beautiful mm -hmm. to see because I think, um, you know, back then when we were growing up, bro, we didn't see it. We couldn't picture this shit. We, not even in our wildest dreams. Correct. Correct. You know, and, and it's been, you know, taking its fucking, you know, toll, bro. Um, opening no boundaries, you know. New fucking uh, fans and shit. You're talking about Wedos like the shit now. You know, Morenos <laughs> like the shit now. Yep. It's crazy, right? That they would fucking just... Yeah. Theo Van be shouting out Peso Pluma and shit. Oh, yeah. That's fucking wild, you know? Yeah. 
So I mean, to see is beautiful, bro. To see is beautiful, and 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 I'm happy, bro, because you know, it's the that's la raza shit. You know, that's like that that that's something that's always gonna keep our roots alive. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. In some way or another, it's gonna keep us going, away. For sure. You're right. For sure. Our, our, man, the, the the fucking Mexican culture is so beautiful, bro, and so diverse, and it's crazy how many things from us have been con- have become so iconic. You know, you got your tequila. You got your tacos, tamales, everything. Right tortas. Taco Tuesday, bro. And, and now, yeah, bro, bro, you got your corridos, bro. Yeah. Your, your, I'm your, telling your, you, La musica regional mexicana, bro. It's beautiful to see. We're going to see fucking Peso Pluma like, play like a Trump rally or something? Probably. Oh, shit, I don't know about Trump, though, wait. You don't know about Trump? No, he like, probably do the Super Bowl. He'll do the Super Bowl. Do the Super Bowl. Yeah. Hey, should all, should all of us Mexicans just be democratic? That's, <laughs> that's that's like the uh, that's like the myth, right? Or are, are we allowed to be Republican? Hell yeah, we're allowed. To be, we're allowed to be Republican. Damn yeah. right. I mean, bro, now you see all these paisas Mexicans complaining about the immigrants. That's a democratic move, by the way. That's crazy, right, my right? Name, that Blows my mind. Yeah. <laughs> and right now we're like, oh, bro, fuck, fuck the Venezuelans. You must y'all be remember thirty years then. ago we were we were with them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, they'll argue with you, and they're like, we we were not we, them. We're not them, yeah. Because we're here to work. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, it's no, accepted. no, no. It's it's true because yeah. they're coming on very different, you know, terms and shit. It's crazy. Uh, me, bro, I see it. Um, I don't like to be so critical of it because you know, I like to remember where I came from myself, you know, and that was you know. Uh, that's how I got here. Uh, you know, our parents migrating, so I don't want to throw too much hate. You know, although it is crazy and shit, the, just the numbers that are coming in, it, it's baffling. Baffling. Like, fuck you, mean. <laughs> half a million fucking Venezuelans are heading this way. Like what? Where are we gonna put these motherfuckers? You know, and it's crazy. They're just hanging out on the streets. Uh, yeah, it's wild. I mean, but you know, I have no hate for it, bro. It's the I I feel for them because Chicago's a brutal city. You know, in, in in any kind of fucking way you want to see it, weather, um, streets. people, streets, you know, yeah. Chicago's fucking brutal, bro. And one of the most segregated, you know, there's some fucking hoods that you can't even be in, bro. I mean, you, you got your very dangerous neighborhoods and you got your very, you know, guarded neighborhoods. You know, like if you're in Bridgeport, bro, and they see a fucking Venezuela, they're probably going to call the fucking cops. Cops are going to get there and sweep that motherfucker out the street. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like. Yeah. Swoop, get the fuck out of here, you know? Sheesh. Or if you're in fucking Inglewood, bro, and you're a fucking Venezuelan, bro, and, and you run into some shit right there, bro, and then pa 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 you know, like, it's yeah, crazy, we, you know? It is some crazy times right now. That's a, that's another crazy shit. And I, I, I had seen uh, a couple of months back, you would post up shit, and I kind of liked your shit because, you know, you were kind of pushing the fact that our mainstream media wouldn't, like... um give you news about certain stories, you know? Because I remember you once posted something about, remember, like, the train spills? Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, this is bullshit. Like, how, how oh, is that it? Was that was wild, yeah. Right? Yep. And just, you know, you start, you know, because it's the same thing. We were so kind of, like, programmed to see certain TV stations and to eat it up, and there's no other news other than that. And then now, with social media, we go back to accountability and transparency, you see all this shit, we, and everything that you thought was right was fucking all wrong. Yeah. Like, nuts, man. But you got to be, uh, también este, weary uh, uh what social platform you're seeing. Things. Of course. Because, bro. Who, who are they backed by? If, if you be messing with X or formerly known as Twitter. Yeah. That's the real fucking deal. It doesn't have <laughs> shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It'll tell you how Porn the fuck it is. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Hell yeah. Twitter's, yeah, Twitter's we're fucking wild, wild right bro. You it's know, a, so... Big so, boy, that's the wild, wild west right now. Yeah, so right there, bro, to me, like, if you want to see something, like, if you want to confirm what the fuck's <laughs> really going on, yeah. go, to, go to fucking X, bro. It'll fucking really tell you what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know? No, no fucking, no hiding, just, like, straight transparency, you know? Al grano. And, and I think that's how things are nowadays, bro. Just, just like that, you know. As much as they try to um, censorship, you know, and, and keep you from knowing things, right now, bro, knowledge is it's it's out there, and if you want to find it, you're gonna find it. They kind of got us during COVID, though, right? 
Si nos chingaron ahí los güeyes. Oh, that was wild, bro. Motherfuckers, güey. COVID was definitely a wild time. Very confusing for many people, bro. Este, and, you know, everybody, pues, came up with their t theories, you know? Este, pretty wild times, bro. Pretty wild times. I, I have my theories about it. You know, maybe, like, you guys do too. You know, you but. You got vaxxed or what? Me, yeah. I ended up getting vaxxed. You got all eight of them? A few times? Huh? You got all eight of them? Uh, nah, I only, <laughs> only got once. You just got the new ones? Oh, I only got once, bro. Yeah, that was crazy. Which one was it? The Johnson & Johnson? Johnson & Johnson. Oh, fuck. You got the worst one, I think, no? They say From what they were I hear? all pretty bad. They were all shitty. Yeah. But I hope he still can't feel but, his arm. But fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> See, he only holds, holds the mic with the with left. With the left. This one right. The right one don't work, bro. But I sleep. can't grip with the right. No, nah, bro, but anymore. you know what was crazy is the, um, and, and I don't know a lot of people know this, bro, but shortly after, bro, I got a heart attack. Oh, yeah, we talked about it. We talked about it in shortly, that episode, in that episode, the real episode, you brought yeah. it up a little bit. Yeah, or we might have talked attack, about bro. it that day. Shortly yeah. after I got the Vax heart attack, uh, bro. At, at 30, what, 34 at years 33. old? 33. Like, how short? God damn, I'm 33 uh, right six now, weeks. bro. Fuck, wait. Yeah, six weeks, bro. Oh, and it was crazy attack. because, you know, <clears throat> before then, you know, I was generally pretty uh, healthy. And I don't have, no, I don't have heart disease. I don't have fucking my uh, arteries clogged or whatever. It was a blood clot. Well, that's what the Johnson Johnson yeah. did to people, right? I mean, that's what they said. That's what they said. Man. It was a blood clot that I had on uh, um, my left artery, bro. That about, you know, it had the whole thing blocked. You know, and, and bro, I was at practice, uh, you know. Out of all places, practice, you know. You know, I guess I, if I would have gone that day, I guess I would have gotten happy, right, doing what I loved, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy shit, right? Uh, yeah. But uh, nah, bro, I'm over here practicing, bro, and then all of a sudden, oh, you know. But it just didn't seem like a heart attack right off the bat, you know. My chest wasn't hurting and shit. I was not, like, I was not, like, getting my left arm numb or shit like that. Your classic, your classic symptoms. Yeah, so what did you feel? Eh? No, nah, I, I uh, started getting, like, very dizzy. I lost, like, my... My fucking balance and shit almost fell. Así como shit. de repente. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. All, of, all of a sudden, straight up lost my balance. I got really fucking nauseous. I was throwing up. And then I got really fucking cold. Oh, shit. Like, oh, like, fuck. I got so cold. I'm like, I'm cold, bro. Like, you know, it was crazy. And I didn't know what the fuck was going on with my body. But you know who fucking, um, pred not predicted it, but guessed it. It was, um... Este, um, one of the guys from uh, the Corazon was there. He was helping us for that weekend. Este, um, so he's like, man, he might be having a heart attack. Oh, shit. Yeah, he used to sit upset like that. My guy, Eddie. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's shit. like, yeah. Because his brother's uh, a nurse. Okay. Yeah, so he's like, he might be having a heart attack. So he said like that, bro. And I'm bro, like, were you guys drinking or anything? No. No? I mean, supposed to be, no, not really. No. Okay. Nah, we weren't really drinking that. I'm thing. saying because it maybe you know if you were drinking or something, it, it could, you you definitely then would not know what the fuck was going no, on. You know? No, no, we, we we wouldn't drink like that. But it was just crazy because I was just like stunned by what the fuck was happening. Like what's happening to my body? And I didn't get the classic the classic th symptoms, you know? Yeah, like of a heart attack and shit. So definitely caught me off guard, bro. But it happened, you know. And and, and you know, pues gracias Dios la libre, bro. You know, got that um <clears throat> artery unclogged and shit. They had to run a whole catheter. Uh, to my fucking uh, veins all the way through here. Yeah. Oh, okay. shit. Unclog the shit. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still like under medication and shit, bro. It's crazy. Yeah. I'm an old man now. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. Fuck, way. <laughs> nah, but I mean, it's we all go through some shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know? It's just things that um humble you and just like, hey, dude, you're not made of fucking steel, you know? This is life and shit happens, you know? Kind of like a, f a quick fucking, like, a flag and shit, right? Like a warning shot. Yeah, dude. It's like, hey, for real. Like, you're not fucking invincible. Yeah. And, you know, you just... Te das cuenta de que <clears throat> how... Um, plus how fragile we really are. How life... How, how fragile life is. <clears throat> so it's definitely an eye-opener for you. Yeah. Yeah. From there, I just... I, I, I wasn't wilding as much, you know? Like, I, I, at least I tried to chill and... And, plus, and, you know, the stress that I was taking, as desveladas, the drinking, stuff like that. It's crazy how we forget, you know, that. You lost in sauce, G. Yeah. You lost in sauce. Yeah, you do. 
We you all know? do we. But meanwhile, you're over here going crazy. You're like, ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> While yeah. it's happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't know. You love the pasta, bro. You're like, fuck, you bro. But I mean, like I said, bro, if you if you was to get with the program, bro, he, he was, you know, I mean, grow with life, you know. Things, life's going to throw a lot of things at you that you that have to make you grow, bro. Because if you don't, post, then you're in trouble. Yeah. yeah, you have to learn, a huevo. You have to learn all these fucking experiences. De eso tiene que salir. Well, to get wiser, way. For sure. For That's sure, crazy. Bro. So, you're not out of Brigada, bro. No, though yeah, no, there's a lot of things that we have planning going on, you know, as the... Um, you know, although right now, plus, I've been taking a, a little leave of absence. I'm still behind the scenes, you know, working with the guys, you know, the, with the whole agenda. You know, plus, work como quiera never stops, bro. As and the, how long would you, are you planning on doing that way? No, behind plus, the scenes or, or all We're that? about to get kickstarted again, you know. Okay. About to get going, for sure. Yeah, performing. Yeah, start, starting joining the guys up on stage and shit. And, um, <clears throat> you know, plus, get it running again, you know, for, for the, the 2024 season. Hell yeah. Badass, and yeah, you're a sure. fucking uh, basketball head coach. Yeah, bro. You know I got my kids right there, bro. You know <laughs> I a little, see you a little passion that, that I have. You know, and the and uh, I'm fortunate enough, you know, for my kids to also share that passion with me. So oh, we're yeah. doing it, man. And did you guys win today? Oh yeah, yeah. We got a dub, yeah. Oh, go yeah. go OLC, dude. I see these guys post, and it'll be like, we won like. Like, whatever, right? 34 to 29. My kids, of course, it's 29, boy. Like, holy shit. Yeah, yeah no, my, my, my kids, because I've been having them since they were little kids, bro. And and uh, like I said, you know, it's something I've been very passionate about ever since I was little myself. You I played never two way? No, I never oh, played. Okay, okay, okay. And I was an ass athlete, bro. I sucked. <laughs> Everything I did, I sucked. But oh, so you're definitely living to your kids right yeah, now. Yeah, through the motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah you better yeah. fucking win. Yes, Get up. Get <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's, right that's what uh, us fathers do, bro. Just yeah. live through our sons, bro. And I'm definitely yeah. living through them, bro. It's the, and, um, you know, getting them going. And it's something that, that we share, bro. And that's how we bond. That's, that's nice. That's badass. Yeah. Good badass. You, bro. How old are they? We? Um, pues, I, 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 it's a whole wide range, bro. The oldest, 23, then uh, 16, 12, 10, and 3. Badass. Congrats, way. Yeah, no, thank you, thank you. Congrats, way. No, the oldest twenty four. Not even twenty three. Sorry, twenty four. Bad guy. Yeah, Full yeah. grown adult, bro. Sheesh. Yeah, bro. No, e- e- and I'm a grandpa too. Oh shit, y'all. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, no, you are old, way. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm already fucking living all kinds of fucking uh, new levels in my life and shit. Level unlocked. You and Danny Medina are like fucking on the grandpa level. Yeah, bro. Yeah, no, I'm a gramps. Yeah, for sure. Oh, badass way. Yeah, That's also badass way. Yeah, no, it's a uh, tough, you know, situation on it. But este, nevertheless, you know, I feel blessed, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's crazy. You know, you're already looking into the other generations. Yeah. 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 It's wild. Yeah, looking to the future. Así la vida. Así la vida en Chicago. Así la vida en yeah, Chicago. Así la vida Life Chicago. just pr- fucking surprises you in some crazy ways, and, and you just have to roll with the punches, you know? Yeah. Talk to me real quick, bro, f- before we start wrapping up. Uh, just because, like I had mentioned before we started, we had a Jesiel and Edna. I mean, you know what? Being, doing this musician thing for 20 years, bro, like, the importance of having a support a supportive partner. A supportive oh, wife, man. obviously. Definitely big time, bro. Because if you don't have a supporting partner, then it's not possible, you know? Yeah. You can have a lot of problems, you know? And yes, the, you won't be able to just to um, live out your dream. And, and I think, you know, my wife, you know, shout outs, Gabby, you know, much love. It's the, she's always been right behind me in everything I've done. <clears throat> you know, and that, that's been key, bro. You know, being uh, on tour, she's at the crib holding down the fort, you know, raising the kids. You know, and uh, work on for months at a time, bro. You know, that's tough shit. That's tough shit for real. When you're like, no post, I don't know when I'm going to come, you know. It might be uh, next week. Who knows? We got fucking promotion and gigs out here, you know. And and not only that, bro, it's tough cuando, when you get the real tough times, you know, on tour, when you're not making that much money. And you got to send that fucking cash back home. And you're like, fuck, I didn't make anything. I just made 200 bucks, you know? Right. No más pas pa mis maruchans and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> back in the you day, know? dollar menus Bro, and shit, and, right? And for your girl to really understand that, to really, you know, understand that, uh, 
That really takes, you know, uh, a really big, su- you know, support, bro. Este, and, you know, she's gone through all it, all of it, through the good times, through the bad times, you know. And now me, you know, coming back local, you know, and, and doing it here. Que como quiera, este, it's still the same thing because I'm gone every weekend. Mm-hmm. Right. You know? And the only difference is that now I'm not gone for weeks or months at a time like yeah. I used to. Now you sleep at home. Boy. Yeah, now I sleep at home every yeah. night, you know. Every yeah. night. So I, I guess, you know, that's comforting for, for, for her, you know, in a, in a sense, you know. Pero también, you know, este, she deserves este, my time as well, bro. That, so that's why I, I, I'm over here este, um, thinking different on, on, on just retirement, you know. Este, because, that man, you need, you need to leave some for, for your family, you know, for your, for your partners. Este, some of your good years, too. Este, como que te vas a gastar todos tus those prime years and in, in, in your in your, in your um, craft, and craft yeah. and none to you know the support you know yeah like, you get the worst years I mean you gotta take care of me because you know I can't <laughs> wipe my ass yeah, down I shit. can't fucking hear no more I'm deaf you know like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Hell yeah like this shit done left me deaf you know <laughs> you you love what <laughs> you know so I mean you definitely gotta you know think about that bro and I I and I honestly do think about that and so I definitely you know. Este, gotta give them, you know, some of my good time mm-hmm. too, you know, and um, so that's why I say, you know, this has to come full circle, you know, and um, dedicate myself, you know, to to other things, yeah. you know, but but my the same energy that that I I, I put in music that I have been putting in music for all this time, you know, put it in different things, you know, and um, for anybody that's been able to do that, bro, my respects, bro, my respects, you know, that you have to find, you know, new ways to stay in it. And 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 what a way, you know, to, to you know, to um, still stay involved in music, you know, and finding, you know, different things to still be able to kind of, you know, um, fulfill your, 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 your dreams, your, your, or live out your, your, your skills, you know, stuff like that, you know, little things like that, like managing or, um. Um, like just you know, being somebody that um gives a new platform to these groups, you know, yeah, being a platform for for the culture, for 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 the movement, you know, that you, you're serving a still, you know, to to the community, you know, and right? What what a way, you know, to the, no better way than to post musician life, you know, find a way to still be involved. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I would like. Yep. You know, once I wrap it up, you know, and uh, call it a career, um, I would like oh, yeah. to still find a way to be involved. That would be like the performing career, but then you have all this career left ahead of you still. Yeah. yeah. I, f- I feel like, you know, maybe if not managing us the, um, any kind of consulting. Yeah. Um, I never got into the whole studio thing, so I and I never got into the whole sonido thing, so I'm garbage at that. Yeah, I can't, I can't help at that. I'm sorry, but something else, you know, something yeah. else, you know. Este, maybe a podcast. I don't know. Yeah, uh, no. whatever, a small thing as it could be, you know. Yeah. But at least you know, still kind of put my little grain in there, you know. Yeah, contribute to the music. Yeah, my musician. little contribution. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like a musician really never retires out of this. I, I don't you know? think so. It's tough. Even if you stop performing, you're no longer performing. I think you still find a way to involve yourself in it, you know? I agree, we. Any particular shout outs, uh, saludos que quieras mandar a alguien, bro, en particular, la familia, anybody you want, bro. Oh, for sure not. We're going to be here all night. Dale, Sending shout outs to the peace, my guys. No, no, pues this the first off, shout outs to the family, you know, to my wife, Gabby, holding down the fort all the time, you know, as the uh, supporting, um, a 20-year career, you know, so far, and counting, because I'm still not retiring, baby. Hell yeah. We got <laughs> yeah. 10 more years to go. I feel like you just broke the news to her right now. Yeah, right? Yeah, right? I'm maybe here to she announce. she thought you were fucking. Yeah, she's, she's over here. She hoping, like, yeah. Yeah. Come sorry, on. man. Prendió su vela, you know. Yeah. 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 Sorry, like, baby. Give no. me a couple more years. Right. No, no. Shout out to the family, to, to my kids, to my sons, to my boys, you know, este, who I love very much. He, he keep, me, keep me very busy, you know. Um, to the guys, Brigan Ortega, you know, all, all my, um, those mis, mis compañeros, the, my, my, the, my homies, you know, fucking, uh, Jesiel, Rafa, mi compadre Joel, Fo, Junior, you know, all the guys that, um, 
that we got this shit kick started with that, that started right with me, bro. That uh, that shared this uh, passion with me. All, all my guys that I've ever shared a stage with, you know, much much love to all of y'all and much respect to everybody. You know, I I don't I feel like I don't hate on people and shit. Like when I move on, you know, from from the guys and shit. You know, I always you know hope que les vaya bien and shout out to to todos mis compañeros that have been and that still are and shit. You know, love y'all. You know, siempre y'all niggas are gonna have aquí un hermano aquí for life. Oh, wow. Well. Nico, el pedo? Bien chingón, bro. I knew this was going to be a, a great episode because I know you got a, a. Well, obviously, we just went through it, way A crazy fucking story, way. Yeah, no, no, for kinds, sure. Did all kinds of shit. And, but, and um, the stories that can be told. Those yeah. are real. That's oh, what I'm saying. On the next one. On the next one. We'll <laughs> the untold stories. We'll do that one, <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that one on, on, the, on the X. Okay, you said yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah we'll put that told, bitch on no. next. Untold. No, we yeah. appreciate it, bro. It was, it was definitely a, a great pod. We, I know you're still gonna keep doing your thing here. You know, you're never, you're probably never gonna be able to a hundred percent leave it. You know, so. No, and I, I, I probably don't, bro. I don't think so. But it's one way, like or the other. You know, I would like to stay in, este, involved in. I am, like I said, stay. I, am, I am admire those yeah. that are still in it, and thank you guys, you know, for having me here, bro, man. Big thanks to you guys, you know, uh, sure. I'm stoked, you know, more than honored, you know, to be a guest, you know, in uh, such prestigious podcast and shit, you know, <laughs> bro, that's you know, that's a new one, that's that's a new one. Thing, bro, you, know? you guys are yeah. doing your thing right here, bro, you know, got your listeners, bro, all organic, bro, nada este, nada inorgánico, bro, and that, that's, scripted, that's like how you love, show? yeah, not scripted, <laughs> well, it's kind of like the reality, there's you love to money. see this, you there's, there's no anything, money bro. in this either, bro. we don't get paid either, bro, <laughs> fuck, and, and, and you know, Chicago's part, Chicago's a culture, man. Chicago's yeah. a vibe, dude, and everything that comes with it, bro. And and, and all of this, you know, forms part yeah. of it, bro. And and this is not only limited to the people in Chicago, but elsewhere in other yeah. cities that get to see us, that like what we do. You know, nowadays, everybody can see everything, you know. So I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure pe peeps from Cali like the Chicago vibe. Peeps from Phoenix like the Chicago vibe from Texas, like the Chicago vibe Denver. from Florida, yeah. Denver. They peep it all right here, what we're doing, bro, and they admire it, too. So, shout-outs to them, bro, and shout-outs to the whole family, Los Primos. Man, I can stay here. I can stay here and just be sending shout-outs to todos, but <laughs> you know, very uh, appreciative of everything. You guys, the platform, what you guys are doing, bro, all the work you guys have been putting in. Man, Carlos, man, dude, uh, I, I really look up to you, bro, appreciate to be honest. That, yeah, appreciate you know, that. It's the, taking the advantage that I'm here, bro, and, and you know, letting you know that I really do and all the work that you've been putting, you know, from a musician to, you know, post-retirement musician doing, bro, just looking, finding new ways, bro, and I love that, you know? Thank you, Way. I mean, that was my sole purpose to have you on, Way. Uh, and, and along with, uh, uh, you know, other guests that we've had is to to talk to you guys, pero más que nada, in my own little way, selfishly, like, you know, honor you guys, Way. Like, I just feel you guys are musicians that, you know, need to tell their story for whoever wants to hear it. I want to hear it. And, um, you know, I don't want Chicago musicians to go unnoticed, bro. No, for sure. And thank you. As, thank a, you. as since day one, I haven't wanted that. You know, I wanted, I want motherfuckers to know we're here. No, for um, sure. And thank so you thank you. For doing you that. Way. Thank you for coming on. It was great, bro. Appreciate you a lot. Appreciate your friendship. You had a great time at the Banda Real reunion. No, dude. dude that, that was our was first epic, time yeah. sharing the stage. Yeah, I, th I thought that was epic because, um, you know, I didn't have um, the. Um, I didn't have este el gusto pues to to have you know to have shared the stage with you, but but with this time I I did, and I can say you know that that I shared it with you and Fry, you know, an, an iconic duo, hey, and uh, you know very fucking happy it happened. You know, I mean I'm stoked, you know that that I, that I I could say that you know the the best of the best, the, the cream of the creme right here in the shy, bro. That that I shared it with, you know, that I shared the Gracias, stage man. with, you know. Likewise, bro. Thank you very much, bro. Y para toda la gente que sigue viendo por ahí, subscribe. Subscribe. We're almost subscribe, there. Subscribe, subscribe. We're subscribe. almost there in the 1,000 subscribers. Ahí va el pinche pedido. Así es de que cáigale. Thank you very much, viejones. Ya se nos sale la pura positiva. Read the book.